you ain't good. You ain't good. Um, you ain't good. Um, Ready? <laughs> what it good, me homies? With a shit, me. This your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this motherfucking drink chest, motherfucking happy, 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 happy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Make some noise. <laughs> now, right now, I just want people to know that when it comes to great human beings. When it comes to great individuals, when it comes to great uh, producers, when it comes to just a person that's a musical genius, when it comes to our East Coast Dr. Dre, when it comes to just pure genius, the person that we're sitting in front of, the person that we're interviewing is that guy. I met him when he was a young guy, and he was just a little bit more skinnier than he, what he was now. <laughs> And he's the same guy. He stood there. He believed in his craft. He stood by his craft. And his craft worked out. And now he's ventured on to all type of liquors. He ventured on to, to cars. I'm wearing his sneakers as we speak. <laughs> In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. We are talking about the legendary, the great Swiss Beats. God damn it, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need that intro for every show. I got you. I got you. Sample that right there. We need, we need Nori to intro the real the show 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 when we on stage. I got you, brother. That Listen intro right there. I got I you. you. But you know you was talking about yourself too, so. No, no, I'm talking about. But you know what? Uh, you know what? I can actually. This is why I drink champs work. I can actually always step aside and big up another artist because that's mm. beauty. Right. That is actual the definition of beauty when you can sit back and say something else is beauty. Facts. Something else is beautiful. Did I kill that? I ain't gonna front y'all. I feel like y'all should clap. I ain't gonna front y'all, man. Y'all, man. I feel like y'all should clap. So, Swiss, I'm gonna be honest, Swiss. Your transition is unbelievable. Like, I remember from me booking a session and they saying, you have to have a session with D's nephew. To, that was your name at first, D's nephew. D's nephew. <laughs> and then from, if you're really from New York and you have an album or you have anything and you don't have an input on this person's shit, niggas don't even, even pay attention to it. Mm. Do you know that? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm telling you that. That's, that's how deep you are in this game. Like niggas, like Swiss has to have something to do with your project. They have to listen to your project. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Mano, whether it's Busta Rhymes, they have to come see you and co-sign before they can drop. Do you, you didn't know that. Nah, I didn't know that. That's how deep you <laughs> are, brother. I just, I just know that, you know, I got a, a vibe with uh, Coach Heavy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of the artists that I grew up with, mm -hmm. working with. Mm -hmm. I grew up working with you. I grew up mm -hmm. working with a lot of mm -hmm. artists, and then you know, even with the younger artists and, and mm -hmm. artists that's been around, I just I just feel it's my job to just protect our craft. You know what I'm saying? By any means, let's just protect our craft and you know, be a part of be a part of the solution to things that you want to see change. Be mm -hmm. a part of the change instead of just sitting back, just commenting and criticizing on what should be changed. Like fuck it, change it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be so, proactive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be proactive. So a lot of people like to sit on the sidelines, and I'm like, man, I can't, I can't sit on the sidelines no more. I gotta be active. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I seen the Instagram video. You had a soccer stadium on the yacht. <laughs> Am I correct? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> nigga had a nigga, <laughs> nigga <laughs> had a soccer. <laughs> I don't. Are y'all niggas paying attention to the fuck I'm saying? You know how big a soccer shit is? Like, you know how to kick some shit? What was it? To kick some <laughs> shit? And you had a soccer stadium on a yacht. Yeah. You are doing fantastic. <laughs> Why the fuck is Swiss in the studio, bro? Why are you making music? Like That's what got him with the soccer stadium on the yacht. I, I need him <laughs> to say that. I mean, you know, Cause if I was you, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't even fuck with me. Like if I was you, like I wouldn't fuck with me. Like Nori is just not in my like I wouldn't have you got my phone number. You call me. Me and you hang out. Facts. 
Why the fuck are you hanging out with me? <laughs> <laughs> like he's trying to save your life. No, I'm being honest. Like, I wouldn't fuck with a nigga like me. Like, if I was the level you at, nah, you got soccer man. stadiums on your yacht, and then no. your yacht had a yacht. Do you remember that part? <laughs> you had another boat to go with your boat. The that dinghy was, was a yacht by itself. And then, look, look, I'm disrespecting you. I'm disrespecting you, son. You went, you had one yacht, and you said that was not good. Yeah. Am I correct? You know, you saying line for line. I was walking, I said, this is my nigga. <laughs> you are getting No, because you know, you know, they, they, they tried to gas me up with the photo. Mm. Right, so I think they stretched Oh, they tried to see who y'all you. Yeah, they <laughs> tried to hit me with that. And mm-hmm. I had black coffee coming, you know, mm. I was hosting them black out coffee. there. Black coffee, yep. And when I get, because I was on, the, on, on um, I took my kids on spring break. So that's why the soccer thing is, it was about them. That trip was mm. about them. Mm. And so... I get there and the soccer goals are like outside mm. as you walking in the ball. I'm like, damn, mm. why didn't you put that on the boat yet? Mm. I get oh, to the boat. So you made the soccer gold. Did you make it? <laughs> no, no, I had this is even richer. Thank you. I had them Keep buy the goals, for, <laughs> you know, because the kids don't, they don't care about floating around Dubai and all this. They <laughs> want to play and have fun, right? So I get to the boat and I'm like, this ain't the boat I seen in the picture. And I was just, I just thought they was trying to play me. And I was like, I want this one. And, and, and you, know, the, the, you know, the real thing is like, um, when we go to these different countries, you know, like we like to get gifts and, and accept a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. But I think, it's, it's, I think they need to see us come to different countries and do our own thing. And don't accept no gifts. Mm-hmm. Go there, be with your family. Because I don't think that we being represented when we leave correctly, oh, when we right. take all these gifts from. Like from they think we got play money. They think. A little bit. I just feel like I just feel like it's cool, and we thinking that we playing them, but right. they technically playing us mm. when we go there and and, and, and say that we they let had them to take care of they, our. They trip. had to give this person that. They had like mm. you can't do your own. Like mm. you can't stand on your like own. Like they too. bought you mm. and shit. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like so Wear your own helicopter. Nigga. Nigga, we go out there. We don't need anything. God damn. Let's make some noise for Swiss. Yeah, God damn. Right. This is this is the richest conversation. I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all guys caught what he's saying, but that is real shit. So, <clears throat> so Swiss, you coming from the BX, mm-hmm. being a DJ, transition, turning it all over. Right now, the dog, mm-hmm. DMX. We seen pictures of him floating around in the internet. Yeah. He looks healthy. Yeah. I want to I want to have a heart to heart conversation with you. I know there's other people that's listening. I know there's other people that's going to be tuning in. Mm-hmm. But a part of me felt good. Meaning I knew the dog was sober. Like I knew the dog he's getting his life together. You you don't have to agree with me. You can I agree. Yeah, but it was a part of me that was like, yeah. "Fuck yeah." Not that he's locked up. We we're not happy that he's locked up. But we happy that a part of him is. He might be happy that he's away for a little bit, getting his mind together. Because I am. Getting the help you need. Real facts. Mm. You know, I think that, I think that he knew that it was time for him to even take that time out. Mm. You know, I feel he was a big part of why he's in there, mm. right? And sometimes people, so some, keeping sometimes it real. people, they express themselves in different ways <laughs> that it ain't even nothing to talk about. You know, right. like he knew if he was going to do X, Y, and Z where he was going to be, and I feel like he did that for his own reasons. And, you know, I'm, you know, his family is straight as long as I'm straight. And it's just been the vibe, and he's in good spirits. He gained wild weight. You know, right. You know, that was he, good. He definitely had to hit that gym, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but at the end of the day, that's my dog no matter what. Right. I'm going to ride for him. We slept on floors together. You know, right. we done everything together. So, you know, for me, to, there's no big eyes and little U's. Mm. You understand, and, and you mm. know, and that's just forever. Mm. So, um, what was the first, the first thought you thought when you seen the picture? Like, <laughs> what was the first thought you said? Was I was trying to say, you in there robbing niggas for their lunch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely look healthy. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah. Right. I ain't never seen you eat like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's beautiful. That's it was beautiful. Good. It was good, man. I, I knew, I knew that the the process was taking place mm. because even in prison, you can get whatever you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like, mm-hmm. it's, that's yeah. It's prison is the streets. Yeah. Mm. So that means that he's making an effort to go, you know, to set the tone in the way that's 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 positive for him, you know. Because we got music, so music is the last thing that we ever need to talk about. Is he in a program in, in there? 
or no? I don't think he in the program. No? Mm-hmm. We don't know. That's the dog. The dog is just being a dog. He'd be pissed if they put him in a program. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, de- I definitely know 100% for me knowing X, he is not in protective custody. He not go, he not, he's, he's not. He's, he's, not like, he's like walking that. around with the regular y'all. That's why you see the, the photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but he, I'm talking about programming for addiction. Yeah, um, I, I wouldn't think he'll do that. I think actually being in jail is his program. Facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is me. I, I don't know any facts, EFN. But, um... Me knowing him, I would think that's that's it. That's he's who he gonna, is. Yeah. He's just he's he, that's what hip he what hip hop is. What's it called? Uh, um, disruptive. Hip, that's what we are in hip hop. We're disruptive. If people, if we, we could sit here, you could play, you know, any type of music. But if you play hip hop, it's disrupting people. All right. So I think that's what what the God is, and I and, and you know I pray for him because. I know that he's 100% one of the greatest people I ever met. And I remember walking him to a car, him walking me to a car, and I'm walking into the car like, nigga, no one, none of us is never gonna leave. (laughs) (laughs) Like, like, that's my, that's my dog. So, um, one of the greatest people I ever met. So now, Swiss, I spoke to Buster Rhymes, I spoke to Nas, Mm. and these guys are like, Swiss album is incredible. Mm. Right? They're not lying, though. No, 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 let's make some noise for that. Let's make some noise for that. They're not lying. But what gives you that energy? Like, why at this point you you have the most beautiful wife in the world, you have the most, you have Lotus deals, you got Zenith deals, you got Free, but what the fuck makes you want to go to the studio? Because I'm, I'm just now starting my life. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me grasp that. Okay. Say that again. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm just now. I'm just now starting my life. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 40 in September. September 13th. I'll be 41 September 6th. But yeah, let's, let's, let's make some noise for Virgos. Yeah, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. Y'all niggas gotta start la- clapping loud. I'm be <laughs> that shit was the weakest clap I ever seen in Drink Clap's history. I'm gonna be honest. I know everybody stars over there, but today no one's a star. Please let's let's show some love. Okay. So, go ahead, you're gonna be 40 and? Yeah. And I'm, you know, I said just now, I'm just now starting because, you know, I'm just now really understanding what my purpose is, mm. right? Like we, we got success super early, we got financially straight real early, but what did it mean? Like what, what, mm. like what's your goals? Like right. what mm. does it all mean, right? Cause this mm. shit comes fast and it goes fast and you know, there's never really an explanation really on, on what's the right way, what, what is your purpose, mm. right? Which is the reason why I went back to school was to also find that discovery. Wait, you went to Harvard? Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna lie. Niggas got me some <laughs> money. Crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Can we order some wine? Can we order some wine from downstairs? Yeah. Tell them to bring up a bottle of Pinot Grigio. From, 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 from the Bronx to Harvard. Yo, but I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at your... <laughs> Your Instagram, I said, this nigga is what, and you had the niggas with the um the, the shit on too, like the um what's that shit called? <laughs> them niggas, <laughs> yeah, them niggas got the shit, and the yeah. Swiss is sitting there. I'm looking, I'm like, and you got the loafers on. I said, holy <laughs> moly, guacamole, you yeah. really went. Yeah, to it, was, it was it was the best three years of my life, you know, because like I, I say this all the time, you know, when I went in the room, I was the room is super small, the dorm room is small, and mm. I was like, you know. This same room could have been my jail cell because it's about the same mm. size, but I'm in here to get educated right. rather than reprimanded, right? So that's when I was just like, nah, I'm gonna thug this out. Mm. Because a lot of people were staying at hotels and stuff. Um, and then coming to class, and I was just like, Because nah. they rich too. They rich yeah, too. Everybody, it's, it's, everybody in OPM is owners, yeah. president, management. So it's all owners of the biggest companies around the world, all the presidents of the biggest companies around the world. Mm-hmm. And they teach them how to manage their companies after like success. Mm. And so this is the this is the course that you have to have success already, um, and then because most people when they sell their companies, mm. their companies go out of control, right? right. Mm. Because um, the hardest thing in companies is is merging the company because you have so many silos. So when you sell the company and new people come in, this nigga then talking then that talk. Company start Let them talk because people can't get along. It's just basic shit, you know mm. what I'm saying? But it's on a massive scale mm. in these billion dollar companies, mm. and so you know integration is the key. Did you have a major? Did you have a specific major? Is that yeah. Okay. yeah? Money, nigga. 
<laughs> Money is Yo, I'm gonna be honest. The first time I ever felt bad for Timberland in my <laughs> life. You took advantage of that man. That was off of drink champs. That was off of drink champs. No, 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 no. The what's um just Blazers off a of drink champs. Oh, that's what it was. That's just right. Blazers. Yeah. No, they all started off a yeah, drink champs. Oh, they definitely, all. They drink they definitely, yeah, they yeah. definitely did. But I'm not gonna lie. Like Timberland, he's rich. He's out there. He has all type of crazy shit. The only time I ever felt sorry for him, like you almost abused him that night. You don't, I don't agree? Think so. <laughs> no, that's yeah. good. Because you're being humble, it's okay. I got you. I'm just telling you as an outsider no, looking Timberland, in. Timberland didn't know he no. don't want no smoke. I tell it to him like I tell it. Oh. But, I feel, <laughs> but I feel like he 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 did he did his thing that night. When he dropped that, is that your boom spooch? I was like, oh, okay. Now, okay. Now in the, his defense, because as a fan of Timberland as well, because I'm not gonna lie, it was uneven because you 100 percent New York City. The Dr. Dre of New York City. This, this is what you are. In yeah. case you don't claim it, I'm claiming it for you. All right? You could be I, humble. I can feel that. I, I hold that. I, so, I even think that the Poison you, album is the East Coast Chronic in, in some ways. I heard that. I heard that. Let's make some noise for that guy. Damn it. I heard that. <laughs> would, you, would you dare to give Timberland a chance in Virginia? Anywhere you want to go. Oh, damn, because Swiss. he got fans everywhere, right? Damn, His Swiss. fans are in New York. Yeah, Timberland got, I'm, I'm sure about... got the women, right? See, that's that was his secret weapon. Is like he got the women, and, and I tested mm. his his core base in L.A. Mm. Right? We was at a Valley event. Um, he came, and a bunch of people were there. Well, let's make some noise for you right? having Valley as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I like the way he threw that rich shit in there. You know, I was at a battle here, man. He came, <laughs> nigga, come on. You, no, he, he, you got to own this shit. Let's go. Tim, Tim, facts. Timberland came <laughs> size me up a little bit. Okay. So, like, we, we was Because, you know, he's dieseler than you. So, how did he size you up? I need to understand. You know, he came. He slid to my event and just played the corner. Mm. But what I did was started playing all his records. <coughs> right? Mm. I started playing all his records. Mm. But it, when I did that, it gave me a chance to really take a deep dive into his catalog of how people <coughs> are gonna move as an audience when he plays certain things. Mm. And that's when I was like, oh, he got the women, right? But that's a DJ shit. You, you understood what he just yeah, said? That's some real course. DJ shit. Yeah, that is a God. DJ. Yeah. That's some DJ shit. So let me ask you something. You battled Just Blaze. Mm-hmm. You battled Timberland. Yeah. But people think I lost at Just Blaze, and some people think I, I lost at the Timberland thing too, but we both Who are these it. people? Because I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can, they, can you give me their phone numbers? Because my I nigga, I, I've been searching for that all, same Jeff answer. Blaze, it doesn't Jeff, exist. Jeff Blaze himself told me that that night, he was like, oh, you ain't beat me. I was like, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Justin's my friend. By He's the my way. friend too. Justin's my friend. He's my friend um, too. Everybody that I'm, I'm battling, I respect, right? Timberland's my friend. Every, anybody that I'm, I'm willing to battle, I respect. Like, if I don't respect you, I don't, need, don't even be in front of me. I'm Are we ready for this no next games. question? Let's go. Because like I'm a little nervous at like this next question. I'm a little line. nervous at this next question. Let me take a sip then. We'll Please fight. take a sip. <laughs> Would you battle for real? Of course. <sighs> I battle for real. For real, what's popping? And that's my brother, but but you know you know was ill was I wanted Pharrell to battle Timberland, but they didn't want to. No go. no no, that's too close. Yeah they, 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 they didn't. The Virginia shit, you gotta let them live. I battled. Well, hold on hold on, Swiss, let's take a time out, Swiss. It's just music, King. You know what I'm saying, like Swiss, let's take a time out, Swiss. <laughs> this is you on drink champs, please. <laughs> I don't know who wins that. Like, listen, when you battle, because you know why? Let me just tell you something. Your energy cool. is remarkable. No, 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 no. No, that's cool. I'm going to brag for you. Relax. <laughs> I got you. Your energy was remarkable. I remember times Swiss was just playing me a beat. I won that! Because <laughs> your energy is remarkable. You went to Just Blaze, the Rockefeller guy. He crashed with all of Jay-Z's classic hits. Took him down. Then you brought Timberland mm -hmm. to your hometown the way you should have. <laughs> you gave him the Jimmy Superfly snooker. 
You know who Jimmy Superfly Slugger is? The old school wrestler. Off the top rope. <laughs> Off the top rope. <laughs> Where would you and Pharrell's battle take place? If this was to ever happen, because I know we all family, we love them. I just took off Pharrell's sneakers to put on yours. We that. love each other. Of course. We love each other. We love each other. He sent me the friends and family he sent package. Me those too. The friends and family yeah, package. Yeah. I didn't know how to rock them. My wife told me, "You are looking very Puerto Rican today." Because <laughs> I don't even know how to rock them, but it's okay. I don't know. I don't know how to match. So, if in your ideal, Pharrell says yes. Yeah. I'm in, I'm with this battle. Where would you want it to take place? Wherever you want it to take place. Damn, Swiss, I need a little bit more precipitation. <laughs> it's just simple. Wherever he wanted to take place, we could take it. Pharrell is, is a problem. Timberland is a problem. Jazz Blaze is a problem. They're all problems. All right. But at the end of the day, you know, this is music, and I feel like mm. we, we came up with challenges. Right, mm. so to challenge one with music and creativity, mm. it should never be no backing down or, or no, being no. shy about that. So I feel I'm, like I'm I feel like, I feel like you just said Miami. So this is where it's happening. Oh, Miami. At Dream Champ Miami. Studio. At Dream Champ <laughs> Studio, we yes. have we just built a Dream Champ Studio. Big up to Revolt TV. Everybody, make some noise for Revolt TV. We have a backyard. Yeah. We're proud of the backyard. Yeah, I'm very proud of the backyard. <laughs> I feel like that's where it should happen, but, okay, Swiss, now now I gotta go crazy. Let's go. Would you do the same thing? I know what you're gonna say, go ahead. With Dr. King. I'm, I'm, say it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, listen, Swiss, I have no idea your answer right now. Look, man, uh, you uh, know. I knew your answer was Pharrell a little bit, but, because now, now, Swiss, please, before you answer it, please, because, <laughs> I thought about, I thought about this before a long you answer time, this, bro. Because technically, he would want you to say, "Yes, I want this battle. I want this smoke." Because, <laughs> but would you like just like one hundred percent in your mind, like think? Can you win it? Would you <laughs> Would you go against Doctor Dre? Look, man. You know, at the end of the day, I'm in the sport of music. And when people used to say this, I even recently, like a couple of months ago, I was like, nah, 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 nah. But it's like, running from what? For what reason? He got classics, I got classics, he a legend, I'm becoming a legend. No, you're a legend, nigga. Right? Stop being no, humble, you're a legend. Right. I told you, I told you're you. a motherfucking legend, nigga. Nah, 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 you on Dream Champs, nigga. This is where we, 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 we help you out. If you, nigga, no, 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 you real, are a legend. No, real talk. If you think I'm a legend now, he wants to raise the bar. I'm telling you, like this shit I did is cute. We ain't even start yet. I mm. promise you. Mm. We ain't even. I ain't even know what I was doing. Mm. I'm telling you, this this is a very calculated shit from this point on. So if Dre say yes, you want that smoke? Of course, I would love that to shit be, be crazy. on stage next to you. That shit would be crazy. Like, I'm, I'm going to feel those blows, but you know what it's going to do? It's going to push me to do some shit I never did before. Because mm. he's cowards. And that's why, and that's why I like it. I like that type of challenge, right? Now, because, because a lot of people, I'm super underrated in a lot of different areas. Like, if you don't really know me like that, I'm like, not in those areas where you're underrated. I'm just throwing it out there. I know, because you know me like yeah, that. Just throwing but, it out there. But, like, you're not underrated in my I section. Just want to throw that out there. I don't have a publish, publicist for a lot of shit that I do. Mm. It just happens. So it's like, you even know or you don't. I'll argue right. over the publicist. Okay. Right? No, we know the publicist, <laughs> but I just feel like, fuck joke. it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm underrated in a lot of different areas. So <coughs> put me on stage next to all of these different people <coughs> that are legends themselves that people feel like I have no smoke with. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let me just do my thing. I've been doing this since 17. I'm, I'm ready, I'm, and I'm just starting. Nah, that's what makes you the most you know hip-hop producer How out there. Let's make some noise for motherfuckers. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't want no smoke with Dr. Dre in no way, shape, form, or fashion in any way. The fact that you just took that challenge is Let's fucking go. fantastic. Cause you name know it's going five, viral. Name five more people. Let's go. I'm in music All right, mode. all right. Now that you I'm say that, mode. all right, I'm all right. That all right, shit should now. be a tour. <laughs> Now that you said that. Yeah, we're working on something. That now that you said right that. Right there. DJ Premier. Ooh. That's dangerous. Now he's playing Ooh. with hot fire. But let's go. 
Why not? That's I got one more. You know, you know, you know, you know me, all, all of my producers, we got a producer chat. They're going to go crazy when they see this. Right. But I'm saying what they should say, too. Right? Like, enough of that, like, running from this and running from that. Like, we are mm. all musicians. Mm. It, it, it's, for me, it's more of an honor to even be mentioned to have a particular battle or situation with these now, people. Now, your attitude is one, more than anything. one million percent the beautifulest thing mm. I've ever, I'm, I'm ever witnessing. But if I don't feel that I can battle Dre, Premier, anyone, then I'm not on my fucking A game. Right. And what am I doing this for? If I can't step in the room with those people and strategically That's come up with a plan ball. to defend myself, please. What are we doing this Tiger for? Tiger ball. Tiger ball. That, I ain't gonna lie. All that, that's work, though. No, you gotta that's think work. about Premier. That's I'm work. just telling you. I don't think about Dre, Premier, Pharrell. I think about everybody the same fucking yeah, you way because, because everybody's talented. But there's one thing in the Just Blaze battle. Mm. Out of the blue, <laughs> you played a Nas, mm -hmm. Jay-Z, mm -hmm. DMX, mm -hmm. Racket. Jada Kiss on it, too. Mm. Jesus, I apologize, Jada Kiss. Later <laughs> on, remind me to say sorry to your face. Nice but in the middle of the battle, you throw this on. You shut the whole shit down because everybody's like this. <laughs> They're listening. You so know, this was a different part of the battle, Swiss. Yeah, because you got to be calculated. I knew, I knew he was going to play PSA. I knew he was waiting too long to play it. Um, public I mean, service announcement. I, yeah, uh -huh. I, I, knew, I knew he thought I was going to play Rough Riders Anthem or something like that. It wasn't a part of my plan. We got to get strategic. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to do that in every battle, every time. You just got to be strategic and then, you know, let it fly. I'm just going to be honest, Swiss. Who the fuck has a record with Nas, Jay-Z, and TMX and just howls it? You're the only nigga in the fucking world. Who the fuck has this record? Why yeah, isn't this I, record I'm out? Not, I'm not holding Why it. Why isn't I'm it not, I'm not holding it because I want it. You named a bunch of complicated people that's on that record. Mm. Is, is it Clarence's? Clarence's? Yeah, those motherfuckers is talented, but yeah. they complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kissing nobody's ring, so that's, we can forget that part. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's why. That's you're, honest. You're a better named, nigga than me. You just named all the most complicated people in hip hop. Listen, that's you're a better nigga than me, because it, if it was me, uh, that should have been on SoundCloud. I'd be like, I don't know who the fuck. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck put that shit out. Hey, the nigga, kid, 1744. Oh, 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 the party ain't over yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send us the drink chest. We'll take the, we'll take the blame. The no, we'll, yeah, we'll we take got the blame. SoundCloud. We'll take the blame. Nah, but you know, there's some um, respectable reasons. Right. But, nah. but the world's going to get more than what they asked for. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With that being said, uh, Buster Rod is one of my favorite, one of my closest friends in the world. Yeah. He called me and too. said, Swiss Beats has the best Nas verse since Illmatic. Now, mm. let me not quote best him because I don't understand if he said the best Nas verse or the best Nas project. I don't remember. There's both of those. Mm. And he was, hmm. okay. We gotta talk so, about that project. No, nah, Nas gonna talk about it. Mm. No, he's talked about it, but we got to wait for him. <laughs> yeah, no, we gotta, yo, that's the, I'm, I'm a Virgo with the Virgo. Boy. Tell me. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to lie. You know, I already got that stuff, but we got to, we got to. Why are you so, being stingy with the thing, bro? Well, uh, the, the tiger, tiger I, I thought you yeah. bought it, nah, bro. you got the cups right there. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> Can you do the honors, yes, yes. Swiss? But Swiss, listen, this is not Bacardi. You got to pour it lightly. You got to pour it lightly, Swiss. Cause I know you own this. Oh, that's not like this, Swiss. Okay. Ah. Oh, all right. I'm gonna give you half of my shot. Take half of my shot. Right yeah, yeah. Take it lightly, Swiss. Take it lightly, Swiss. Grab a cup. Right, grab a cup. Cool. Cool. That's that's too much, Swiss. Come let's on. Split all right. This one right. Come on. Let's split this one. So, Swiss, we love you. Zone, zone. Oh shit. All right. Cool. I'm definitely gonna throw. Up. This is the, this is the episode I'm throwing up. Chess. All right. Throw it out. Chess. Revolt. Let's do it. I don't got no Chess. water. Water. Mm. Are you taking a shot? I ain't taking no fucking shot. That's you said that's the point. That's the point. You gotta take it down. Come on. Oh. Hey. Oh. That was terrible. That's horrible. That was terrible. The sinus problems is gone. Oh yeah. You good? Oh. <laughs> it just happened. Come on, talk that shit. Are we going life. again? Where was we at again? We going. Uh -huh. We going there. Where was that? Tiger Bone. Tiger Bone. We was at. <laughs> Holy moly guacamole, I ain't gonna lie, my We're son. We're talking about the Nas album. You the just Nas turned, album. You, you got yes. a, a little bit more of a tan. 
Yeah, no, 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 definitely. <laughs> so when when Buster just said that to me, I'm from Queens. Wait, but that verse is on his album, no, not no, his album. No, no, no. It's on the album. It's on, it's on his Swiss album. Because I know he no, did Swiss, don't joint. take another one. Swiss. No, I need the ice with Just let me just it. I've never seen Tiger with ice with it. No, it turns yeah. red. It turns yeah. red. Yeah, That's right. Tiger's yeah. blood. You know what Charlie Sheen was talking about? No, really. So I drink Tiger's blood. This is this not is Tiger's it. blood. Yeah, this is it. When you put it with ice. But Buster <laughs> said to me that Swiss has the illest Nas verse. Since mm. Ill, I don't know if he said the illest Nas album or the illest Nas verse. Mm. So you could. I don't have an iller album than Illmatic. Let's get okay. that clear. We're talking a lot of big talk. Yeah, because right. that was ill. We ain't going to talk that big talk. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's, I was, I was <laughs> yeah, wondering. Let's be all the way a thousand. All right, I love like, that. What we have is a great, great, we have a great body of work that I think that people appreciate that love Illmatic. Mm. Right? It's, it's not taking you out of the zone of one uh, great poet that's in his prime. Okay, you right. on Drink Champs, so yeah. I'm just be honest. <laughs> that answer sound like you said that you have the better album than the album that he just dropped. I'm just being honest. It's just I, I, what it sound like. I, you I, on Drink I, Champs, I, have, I feel that I have a different body of work. That, do you, do you that, feel that, like you have that, the better that, album? If you was yeah, to put I do. that, yeah, I do. Oh, no, that's what I'm talking about. Talk yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is the one that I'm just saying I'm a Virgo. What's Rizzo's role in this? So listen. No, so, wait, 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 wait. What's Rizzo's role? Two different projects. Oh, that's another project. No, that's a song, oh, okay. right? That's a song. It's two different projects. Because they've been, it been seeming like it's something. This is rich. This is Illuminati. We in Illuminati now, just in case you ain't know. I'm out. You forgot about the <laughs> Kanye battle at, because that's where it started from. It started there. So I'm, you got three. Then now he brought the Nas project up. That's, it was the Kanye battle. Yeah, that's what started the whole thing. So you but ready, I don't you ready that, for that I don't, smoke? I don't feel that me and Kanye on on um on the we, same level. I don't know what you about to no, say, Swiss. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that when me and Kanye battled, I don't feel it was like me and Just battled, me and Tim's battle. You, you bullied right. him as well. I'm gonna be honest. You bullied <laughs> right. him. He, he had bull records though. That, I ain't gonna that was lie. Kanye. I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you something. Swiss, that, you're such a great you know nigga. You're such a great nigga that I didn't realize you're a bully. I am a bully. You a bully. <laughs> I'm a you a bully. bully. I'll be watching you online like, damn, that's Swiss. Now I'm not like, a bully. You, did, you bullied Just, I'm going to be honest. You no, know, Just started to fight with me. How, the, how am I the fucking bully? Gee. No, I don't think Just started to fight Yes, he with did. You. He heard what I said on Drink Champs. Yeah. Spazzed out on me on Twitter. I even told him he going to... He, I'm not battling Just Blaze. He'll kill me just to get it off the table. I'm like, damn, it's 2017. I'm keep I can't listening. have no problem with Just I'm, Blaze. I'm listening to you complete your case. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And he confirmed that he had a problem with me since 2002. 2002? Oh, he dated the year on Twitter? He told me. Guys, you got to pull his tweets up. And he got this on. And he got this. I, I went at Weezy. Where was coming from? And I did his show. China? Coming from China. Straight landed the plane from China to come do his show. Because I was like, you know what? Maybe this is what he really want me to do. And, and this is, he want to get my attention. Oh, his yeah. show meaning like the Carback Jack show or something like Whatever that? Whatever show that he had, I think it was Netflix or something like that. Oh, and wow. I was like, you know what, let me let me go do it. I'm going to do a show. I respect his work. And that's what's up. I do it. And so I was like, well, maybe that's why he's getting a little, you know, on his Who had me five. this blunt? This is terrible. <laughs> Who ever had me this? OBS. Was that, was that, was that between? Between you a foul nigga. I just want to throw that oh, out you there. Throw, you throw yeah, my bad. I'm <laughs> shit. I'm forgetting <laughs> shit. <laughs> Because this is important because people need Very that. important. Right? So so I did the interview, and then at the end, of, like towards the end of the interview, he brought up the battle, and he just said, right. Just, he brought, he's like, yo, so what are we going to do with this battle? And I was like, I was like, you really want to battle, dog? Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And he told me about him and his cousin had a beef um, with me when I made Money Cash Hoes. Did hear about this story. Right? And then so I was like, well, why you have a problem with me with money? Because he's like, yo, no, 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 I know the real reason. Um, but we don't know the real I'm reasons. Not, I'm not going to get into all that. Like, you don't have to. I'm not, I'm not going to get into Unless all that. Unless you want to. I'm not, because I don't really have a problem with just like that. But no, it's, did, it's, it's love. If this I is did, hip hop. If I did, I'd get into it. Yeah, this is hip hop. But, we, we don't got no beef with nobody. No, I don't got no beef. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. God damn it. Um, let's go. God damn it. You know. Let's go. Right? We with you, brother. So then y'all seen on the Instagram, just tell them what you're going to do to me. I'm a battle Swiss, I'm a killer, some motherfucker, da 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 Friday. And that was it. And then we did the interview on a Wednesday. So And, and that battle, was that battle in your house? No, that was that was in, in, in my 
my um your guest house? My studio <laughs> in the city. Was his yacht? His yacht's yacht. No, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm lie. not rich like that, Ken. No, nigga, I'm, telling I love, you, I'm not rich. I'm like bragging that. about you, please. I'm not. Let me just keep bragging about you, my nigga. I brag. <laughs> That's my nigga. Like I'm okay. I'm, I'm bragging like about I told you. Y'all, I ain't even start yet. You tell me why. Remember, I told y'all this one. Jesus. Jesus. I ain't even start yet. Like the things that we think, that's the next level. That shit is nothing, man. Mm. And it's cool because we, you know, we we already started from nothing, mm. and then we actually get something. But just know that when you get to that point, sky's not the limit. It's just the view. Right. Mm. You understand? Sky's and, and, not and, and, the limit. And traveling, the, the the best investment you could do with your life is travel. Yeah. Because you get to get outside of this box Ooh. and see Absolutely. and see Ooh. what's really out there, and then measure your skills based on a global compass, right? If you're not thinking global mindset, then you ain't even, you, you don't, even, don't, even don't even talk. Don't even sit at the table. Can somebody roll me a real blunt? Yeah, that part. I'll pay you for that. <laughs> well, um, I'm nah, I ain't gonna shit. lie, look, this, this shit is fucked up. Look what the fuck I'm smoking. Come but on, now, the blunt. You're fucking up my interview because he needs a blunt. That's <laughs> right, please. <laughs> please, someone He's roll me a blunt. He's global mind. You know what I'm saying? No, but now, Swiss, how the fuck did you even get in with Zenith watch? How did I get with Zenith? Um, yeah. I've been I said the, it wrong, Zenith? It's Zenith. We need a hood. Like, we can Zenith, right. Zenith. They right. ain't know what time it is. It's not the TV. <laughs> All right. Right. <laughs> but, you know, in our culture, we buy so much jewelry. We buy so many watches. But we don't understand the movement of time. Mm -hmm. We don't understand how many jewels is in the watch. Most of us don't. And, you know, that's something I've been a connoisseur of, just watches. Like, I help many brands um, launch from Hublot to APs to Richard Mills. Okay, I'm talking, I'm talking, you're going now, way too fast. No, but I'm just breaking down the history of-, of You of, helped launch Hublot and AP, and then we're going right back to Zenith. Yeah. I need to understand that. Yeah. Just, what is your role in there? You're consulting yeah, them yeah, to do? Yeah, uh, Hublot, what, you, what, was your, what was your role? Being the first with it at those particular points, right? Um, and so Zenith was, was, was the brand that I was watching and placing my bets on me because I know everybody don't have it, people not wearing it. And Mr. Beaver, who you know, started Hublot and took Hublot to that company, he came over to this company. And so I knew that. I'm it's sorry, Swiss, you took a very rich language. <laughs> Niggas don't know Mr. Beaver at all. I, I, know, bro, I, I thought that was a porn star. I'm talking about Justin Beaver's father. Uh, 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 word? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, Jesus, niggas talking about Mr. Beaver. I thought, I thought yeah, it was if, a, if, if you If you listen to this, Google Mr. Beaver. Mr. Beaver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from Hublot. From Hublot. He's a legend, uh, 40 years of watchmaking. Mm. And he's he's icon and to be with an icon in the watch world and so he left you bro he looked at he said yo y'all i'm i'm not gonna he's be still, with philippe charles no more he's still I'm owner in that mr thing. charles over here yeah yeah he's gonna, yeah, he gonna do that and you went with the y'all yeah and then my watch you know um bringing the culture to the watch world um in basel and switzerland and selling out in less than 48 hours you know it, it just was monumental for our complexion to be doing these different things in a different area where they don't really see us. They, they see us on the receiving end, but they don't see us on the building and infrastructure side of it, right? Mm. right? So that, I wanted to open that up for anybody that's watching this that's that just interested in watches and more than just wearing them and the jeweler telling you whatever. Like, the jewelers is giving everybody bullshit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like That's a fact. <laughs> right? Like, you're gonna be able to negotiate better once I, once I give you this education on what you need to know mm. on multiple levels. Mm. Right, and so I've been blessed to take these things and like a lot of people get the jewels and keep them for themselves, mm. right? I'm gonna do talks, seminars, per mo. You mo, know, mo, we, that's my sister. You know, that's 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 my boss, by the way, mm. right? Because like, I just feel like I got so many things that I need to I need to give back to the people. You know Beautiful. what I'm saying? I need to give back to as much as possible because we're losing this race just based off of knowledge. Mm. And, I, and I understand why education is so hard to get because fuck mm. man, if you have it, you dangerous, you a weapon. Mm. With education, you a walking weapon. Mm. You understand? And, like, and that's why they made that shit not cool for us and not really investing in it for our coaches and our, and, and our cities, mm. right? Because if they invest in education and arts, then we become the new Einsteins. Mm -hmm. We can't become the new Einsteins, that's dangerous. They barely can um, 
can tame us just being naturally smart from the hood. Mm. I got kicked out of every school and then end up graduating from Harvard. Like, come on. God like, damn it, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that, it's like, you know, it's not it. like when he just said it's normal. They can say he got graduated everywhere and then no, but what, what I'm saying is that we gonna, we're going to figure it out. Right. Right? We already got to figure it out, but imagine we have to figure out 50% of our battles. Mm. Imagine we had the answers to those things already. Mm. Because it's, only, it's not that hard. Mm. I went to Harvard for three years, and my best class was one week. Mm. It was an elective called Launching New Ventures. And it, told, it taught me how, in one week, how to take my ideas and apply them without looking at other ones to make my vision launch off the ground, right? Because that's what stopped our vision, is because we don't mm. know how to launch them, right? Mm. But imagine you say, yo, I'm gonna do this with this and this with that. You actually know how to build structure. You actually know how to build where you can go for a first round of funding or no funding at all so you don't mm. dilute your company. Like the blunt, I just wanna no, try I'm good. I wanna I'm try already it. high. Gotta try it. You know what I'm saying? What flavor is it? I don't know, I don't know. I don't right? know, I don't know. But, but, but no, seriously, yeah, like, like imagine like with Drink Champs, right? Uh -huh. Like imagine you wanna do a Drink Champs 2.0 uh -huh. and then you got this extra bag of knowledge on how to do it this time. Mm -hmm. It's over. Real shit. It's, you the new CBS. Real shit. Or the new Our Heart. Our Heart? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You gotta relax. I gotta stop. Yeah. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Oh, I'm just tired of our culture. Being, I'm just tired of our culture being workers instead of owners. Because I see you fuck post it. something the other sure. day and you said, I don't want to do anything you unless ownership. Is, is that where I, did I go to the right place? You, you said that. And the reason why I, I've been doing that, but I put that as a mainstream line for people because I want people to start really thinking about what I really just said. And explain that, please. You know what I'm saying? Please. Like, um, everybody can't be an owner out the gate, right? So it's not, let's not like, right. let's not be um, not naive. naive about this, yep. right? And so, but it come a time, a point where you get to a certain point that, you know you're supposed to be an owner at this point. Mm. But mm. the comfortability of the check keeps you a slave. Yeah. Right? And it's the reason why I left music for eight years because I came back because I came back as a free man. I left as a slave, came back as a free man, right? Because it's all timing. Right? I was the first person in music ever to pay cash to get out of my deal when they used that as an anchor to keep me in. And, um, what like, day were we talking about? This is Arista? No, this was this was when I was at Universal. You know? Wow, okay. Um, you know, that I, shit, I, I, paid, I paid cash to get out of my deal because we need to explain. They wanted me to be. What? They wanted me to. I wanted to put out my my record. This is when I had this me. This me is in. It's me. The bank. This is that album. And then I had a record on there with Coldplay. And I wanted to shoot the Coldplay record. And then this artist, which is super, you know, super cool guy, uh, named Ron Browse. They wanted me to do a Ron. Like I, I'm supposed to sound like Ron Browse. It's me. It's me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, whoa, like, like I'm, I'm ready to go. To, they wanted to, you to do a pop champagne? They did, because that, that was, that was, that was popping at that so time. So this is, this is very breaking news right now. I'm trying to tell you. Are you what? telling me that, what label was this again? I don't want to really, you know, like right, these people just, take and the fact that they stopped and asked you to do it and at that point in your career already. Wrong, these these wrong. people take these things personal. I, 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 know. Know, I, know, I no longer don't. Right, oh, you, but you I, I, I use it to educate people now. Yes. All, all of these things in these in these hard times. You got to imagine, you all the way up there, right? So they and actually came to you and said you should do a Ron Brown's. Play the song for me like I ain't know it. Like if you was What's a new your, artist too. Pop champagne or the whole shit, yeah. Get out. But anyways, shout to Ron Brown's. He he did do Ethan. God bless him. Right, he did um, Ethan but. This is good shit. I had to watch. I'm gonna I had to watch. Good shit. I had to watch everybody else come with Coldplay, when I had Coldplay early, and I knew where the vision was going because I'm not just a rap producer. Like I'm, I'm a producer, period. And which is no, but the only other nigga that had Coldplay was Hove after that. So you tell nah, me, Hove, and, yeah, a couple, nah, a couple, and, people, um, couple what, people, Pharrell, Pharrell, Pharrell a couple people. Coldplay, you know, Chris, Chris yeah. Martin. Chris Martin is a good guy. Chris Martin is a good guy, you know well, what I'm saying? Who else had the cold, whole Coldplay album? All of them got it. You know not a saying? lot of people that had it. Kanye, yeah, oh, yeah. everybody had it, but I would have been like four years earlier, mm. maybe more, with, 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 the, with the vision that I had. Mm. And all my creatives out there, like don't let these people tell you your vision just because um, they're paying for your studio time. You know what I'm saying? Like stay, Thanks, stay, in, stay in your own zone. 
I've been Stay passing this nigga as blunt for 24 years. He's never hit it. <laughs> hey, we're gonna start once, this year. Once, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dance with you one time. One time. But the music ain't right yet. A little right later. Yet. A little later. The music ain't right yet. Okay. Wait, wait. You, you don't. You know, that's one thing. Why the, is this producers want to make your album so so perfect? Why? Like I, I, I could I never understand. I don't want to make my album so perfect. Mm. I want, I want to make a body of work that reflects the time of now culture. Right, and I had seventy songs and narrowed it down to eleven, yeah. and and I ain't I didn't narrow it down. I just did a bunch of listening sessions and let the people narrow it down because we we too personal with our shit as artists. Mm. We too technical. We too personal. Mm. We stuck in our own. We we get in our own way. Mm. You know because we put some stats Camera on the man, boards you good? Right. Yeah, back yeah. then. Like that, it's a different day today. <laughs> Yo, Nori trying to get the cameraman lit so he can. Anyway, somebody is smoking up. You want to film the ceiling? Nori wants to film the ceiling and shit. Nori passed the camera. Keep talking. Switch talking that shit. I'm high and I ain't smoking. You ain't smoking. The contact is real. Keep talking, Switch. Keep talking, Switch. No, but I said what I said. So, listen. Nick, let's get to the smoke. Talk to me about that shit. What we want to talk about? Let's turn up. Mm-hmm. You gotta relax. <laughs> <laughs> no, no we never, relax. we never. This is the gonna... only show mm. besides Angela, Sh- Angelie show. Okay, we're gonna bring Angelie out. Hey, hey, get out of the chair. We need money to get out to this Look conversation. Yo, listen, I'm not gonna lie, but Vol, I love y'all. Oh, I love the the look at look at we, we got beautiful black women <laughs> working for us here at Revolt now. Working with y'all, by the with way. Us. With us. That's y'all. what I said. Yeah, you just said. That's what I said. <laughs> but I spoke to Angela. She can come, you can come sit here. Come on, come on, let us sit there. Can I hook up the mic? Because yeah. we yeah. lit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my epic fam in the building. They actually came. Because you can't set. smoke on the breakfast club, Angela. <laughs> you cannot smoke on the breakfast club. Yeah. But if she is, had it, then I got it. This is Dream This is not the Reverend's Club. Y'all come on in the morning, we come on at night time. Y'all come on in the morning, y'all, we come on at night time. This is a different show. This shit tight as a motherfucker, bro. I ain't gonna lie, whoever rolled that, I respect you. Can you roll one more, please? Because I, I need I need you. Yo, let me tell you something. Go ahead, please. I seen Angela outside, and I just wanted to congratulate her for being a universal spirit. Mm. Right, she's a universal spirit. Mm. Numerous conversations come up, and I hear her name, whether it's referencing people for jobs that's going to help their family, whether it's organizations like mm. the consistency and the work that this sister right here has been doing is unmatched this nigga for the culture. Yeah. You understand? Okay. Did we order wine? Did we not order wine? Is it here? Is it wine? I can take a little bit of wine. No, you messed that up no, it, just well, now. No, you asked for wine. I was trying to give me a compliment. I wanted to salute to it, but I don't want to. I didn't, didn't want to oh, salute to oh, it and take him home. You think this mic ain't on? It's so you know how much shit is on this table. You talking about wine? This ain't no fucking wine interview, King. Red wine? I'm in. No, the tiger bones right here. The Swiss? Come on, baby. The Cardi H right there. What we doing? <laughs> no. Get that fucking no. What is that? What is that? Yeah, Bernay, you got a nip? I've never had this in my little ass bottle. You got a nip? Little ass bottle. That's, 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 that's people my wife. Water. My wife is looking at Come me on, like, what is he doing? Little ass bottle. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. The wine gonna put you down. No, no, no. no. I, I, I know myself. You already been drinking wine all day. With the twist on? You've been drinking wine all day. Yeah, you're right. You're right. With the twist on. I'm already fucked up. Come on, man. I told you I wanted some Pinot Grigio. Well, well, the staff, staff, it's it's medium bottle. Yo, but Swiss. Mm-hmm. Mm. You heard you heard you heard the poll? The poll was nice. <laughs> Come yeah. on, keep it real. What's the poll? That was a little <laughs> bit of <laughs> I bought my first piece of art and everybody was like, you gotta call Swiss and ask him about art. Mm. And I'm ask him how honest. do you know how to buy art? They told I'm gonna right. be honest. Any Swiss, help that anybody needs, you, you let fuck? me know. Because the thing about your shit is it's no commission. Meaning the people can post their art, and they actually don't have to pay to post their art, but they'll get paid for the posting their art. Yeah, they, you know. Did I, did I break that down but, articulate? Um, I think I did. Not really post, but. The they, commission they, would they, be that if they sell know, it, they don't have to pay a commission, right? There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's hard. But I'm not a, I don't own an art gallery. I'm not a broker. I'm not a dealer. Why should I charge artists? 
for commissions on their art right. because I'm Swiss. Fuck that. It's a celebration for the artists and, and, and they should keep 100% of what they sell as a celebration. And, you know, I was lucky enough to create the entry point for art. And, you know, it's, you know, 100 countries involved, uh, billions and billions. You know, even at Basel last year was 33 billion impressions. Right. It's bigger than the entire Basel. You know, we've given back millions of dollars back directly into artists' pockets. Mm. And we ain't even start yet. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> you know I, feel like, I feel like a nigga should make some noise for that, God damn it. I feel like a nigga should make some noise. We should do something for our battle this year in Miami. We should all do well, something. I'm doing something. Y'all might need to have a drink champ station. But Let's God, do it. You, we is already everybody going to be drinking? Well, Nora, you buy art? No, I don't. I'm, I'm foul. <laughs> I'm a foul nigga. I bought art and his shit. And I didn't know what I bought. Because, you know, you don't want people doing the same most that people always buy a Scarface poster and stuff like that. No, they buy no, the same. Why, why are you talking about me? I'm going to show you how to well, You have a Scarface, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know it. it. Yeah, Scarface <laughs> with his face on Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what they be trying to sell the culture, man. Well, well, stop. So what is the difference from like regular art and real art? Like, like how, how, how do we know? Like because you know why? You know why? How do we know? Like how do we know? Like this is great That's art. Subjective. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, for real, for real. Because there's, there's, there's no, there's no bad way to do art. It's mm. all expression. Mm. You either could relate to it or not. You mm. understand? For me to sit here and say who art is good and who art is bad, that's a personal thing. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So if I buy Shrek smoking a blunt, I'm still yeah, good? That's, that's you. you. That's, that's you. what you value. That represents you. That's I think now, some now. people buy art to invest in it, like some people Shrek buy it because they just like it. And I bought Shrek, Shrek smoking yeah, a blunt. It was hard think, to but, but what you said is important. <laughs> but my, my thing is invest in your heart. Mm -hmm. Invest mm. what you feel. Mm. Right? But there's also, if you do um, research on the certain things that you buy, you won't waste no money. Mm. Right? I can give you... 250,000 artists that you can go green like with. And everything, and, and you know, a lot of people think that art is just for rich people. I can show you a piece for $30. I can show you a piece for 5,000. I can show you a piece for 100,000, 50,000, whatever. Whatever is your entry point is your entry point. Just because you can't get a Bentley as your first whip, you don't drive. Right. You see what I'm saying? That like, stop hard. that fight. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Your niggas better clap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. I ain't gonna lie. That's a Harvard talk. I can definitely jack in that line, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. That's that one week course you took. If you see it on Twitter, just ride with it. Just, you ain't gotta ride with it. Bro. Serious. <laughs> no, I know it's not a joke. I promise you. And I'm still a student. You could be a boss and a student at the same time. You have to be. To yeah. grow. This is on. I love that. Let's get to I, that shit, Nori. I love that. No, 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 you know, I'm never, I'm never going to put you in jeopardy, brother. Put me in You've jeopardy. You've been trying to put, put me, me in, jeopardy. in jeopardy. I'm never going to do that. Do it. But let me, let me, I'm going to tell you something that I honor, <laughs> that I really honor, is every time, like, you know, it's Christmas time or holiday time, I see you with your ex-wife, mm -hmm. with your old wife. That's so my beautiful. My old wife, he's nice. Hey, the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> that, what, I wasn't, what the fuck? I wasn't supposed to say it like that. What was supposed to, come on, help me out. Wait, but you that, say your ex-wife and your old wife? Yeah, your old wife sounds like it's an ex-wife. Why too. does that sound crazy? <laughs> I mean, your, your wife and I your... I know, that's what I'm You know what I mean. Oh, you're girl. Trying, you're you're trying, to balance that. You're trying that's, to fix your shape up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To me, that's beautiful because at the end of the day, your old life is there. And everyone, like my wife took my ex-wife to the something. airport. Let me, hold on, let me tell you something. It's no That's old. hard wow. to me. It's, it's, that's big. That's hard. My, that's my big. wife now took my ex-wife to the airport. She volunteered, but I ain't going to lie. And she ain't crashed the car? No, they, they good. They good. They good. That's, they good. that's called progress. But I'm not going to lie to you. When I seen it with you, I said, oh, it's possible. Like, this shit can really happen. I was telling Swizz outside, I just seen Mashonda a couple of days ago. Yeah. And they have a book coming out about the blended family. Yeah, all three mm. of us. Mm -hmm. get, get, oh, it's shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> you know what? I really like that y'all clapping for that because our coach is trained to only um, put the zoom lens on negativity. All right. You know, mm. when, we, when we launched the cover of this book, it was no smoke. Now, if Mashana was doing a tell all and all this shit here, then it'd be That's a lot of switch. smoke. You understand? And right. like, we got to stop um, pulling our own down, right? What me and my ex went through was was a bunch of misunderstandings. You know, we was young at this particular time. I'm so ready to clap. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? But I'm and, so ready to and, clap. And, 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 like, and like, nobody's perfect. She's not perfect. I'm not perfect. And we don't live in a perfect world. But to come together and, you know, 
and, and be able to celebrate each other. No, no, hold on, hold on, not yet. <laughs> and to be able to celebrate each other and to see, you know, Mashonda um, going to the next level and, and, and she always had a gift in writing, you know. But my thing was like, listen, you know, use your, your gift to, to, to give back, to give back to the culture because our culture is a scarred culture, right? So, you know, women in our culture are scarred because, you know, we get in situations that we're so young at those times that nobody wrote the rules on what right. we we're supposed to do right. at 19, 20, 17, 20. Like nobody system. wrote those rules. And it's not too many families that we know that's really together. So the culture's really out there by themselves. Mm. And so when people see um, negativity, they feel like, um, it feels very personal to them, right? Because like a sister might have really went through some real things, oh. right? And then so you seeing that she went through some real things with this other person that went through some real things, now you want to shoot at that person because... It's not it shoot at nobody. It, it kinda, no, no, it kind of reminds you of what you've been going through. Mm. But you got to understand, like, people are emotional and people go through things. But at the end of the day, for Mashana to be sitting at our tables, closer to me than my wife in, in that particular picture at Thanksgiving. Because there's no big guys Beautiful. and little use. It's not like yeah. I need to sit here to feel like this or this and that. No, man. Like, you know, there's really a great positive energy. It's a great union. And you need to stop being mad at some shit that we ain't even mad at. Hey, can I clap now? Be honest. Mm -hmm. Can I clap now? <laughs> Beef mornings, yeah. <laughs> But like, you know, you see Jada Pinkett Smith talking about her and Will Smith and his ex wife, and they all go I'll away. Definitely, I definitely didn't see that. Yeah, I'm sure. That's, that's serious. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's a human thing. A lot of times things don't work out the way you plan. And that's okay. It, 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 that life don't got nothing to do with that life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Um, but I'm going to tell you one thing that was so fantastic to me was one day. Yeah, he be tuned in. You see this guy? You are he got, filming. always got a tan, too. <laughs> oh, he is my hand. Okay, got it, yes. You are filming at the Porsche building. And I'm looking at your snap. But then I'm looking at the view. And I'm like, this nigga's right here. <laughs> you remember that day? Yo, my nigga, listen. I'm looking, because the Porsche building. By the way, it's very disrespectful. <laughs> My view is the Porsche built. Wait, Alex, sir? He's You get away. You got to say, man. You going to edit that part out. So I'm just looking. Because I had no idea that they was building. Because the Porsche building is my fantastic, it's the best building in the world. Your car goes up there, just, you know, your locks up. <laughs> This is my brother. This is my nigga. So I'm like, but I'm looking at a Snapchat and I'm looking at my actual view. Like, this is the same fireworks. Because you remember, that's like the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah. right? This nigga is. It wasn't saying, real time at the same time? This is my nigga. Listen to me. Yeah. It was the same exact time. I'm watching the fireworks. He looking at me. And I got this nigga phone number. So I'm like, hold on. Hold a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this nigga Swiss done moved in the Porsche building. He didn't even tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that. I'm like, no, gosh. I look yellow. Yellow. Purple, purple. <laughs> this is green as well. <laughs> this nigga, this is this nigga. So I hit him, he said, Yo, King, I'm over here, we popping fireworks. <laughs> nigga, yes. Oh, I understand. Damn. <laughs> I understand. And yo, you're probably the only nigga, because there's a lot of niggas that be seafood yallering saying they live in the Porsche building. Oh, they do? <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Did I say it? Y'all heard that? nobody in the building yet. <laughs> You're the only nigga I've seen in the building. Yo, nigga, you, That's you, a good vibe, you own something in the Porsche. All right, listen, let me describe this, because I know Swiss is a humble Weezy. guy. Tell him what. You got to explain what the tell Porsche building Weezy. is. Yeah. Tell him what. Tell him what. Tell him what. Tell him why we really in the Porsche building. 
I don't even. They own the whole building. <laughs> Let me find that. Please, because, because, because <laughs> nigga, I, I need. Yo, that's about the concept if, of the Porsche building. If, if that's if that's the truth, then I need to make an investment because I need to be in there somewhere. You designed the Porsche it? building. No, Porsche designed the Porsche building. Okay. But I was a very <laughs> intricate piece of the process of the Porsche building. Um, Gil is a legendary building in Miami, great friend, great brother. Uh, What's his name? Shout out to Gil Desert. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta write notes. No, you tell him you know the guy. We I gotta put this in the my <laughs> Dude, what was what was I don't even want to compare who I know. <laughs> what like, it's not. He was, stop, you know what I mean? There's a switch just flossed on all of us. Like, well, can I ask I both Swiss Gil and Nori the same question? Yes. When did both of y'all get like, so to use a Swiss quote, fancy? Like, when did you make that transition from being like, it's Swiss turn, good. Both of you, because both of y'all fancy. You, both of you are somebody's rich Angela, friend. Angela, you were my friend. I was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> y'all both fancy. Okay. He's in the first building, you, you a fancy? first woman. Yes. Listen, I just want to be clear. Wait, when did That's y'all make that you. like that? That's my view. Across the, the, the canal? I'm, I'm not, not that close. I wouldn't say I'm fancy, I would say I'm cultural. Like, when did that happen? When did you wake up and be like, this is crazy? I don't even, this, this is why this Every question we direct to this. But like before, like at some point, you had to be like, because, you know, at, when we're young, we have no idea what life is going to bring us, right? Mm. Yeah. At some point, mm. you're like, okay, I'm aspiring toward this. And then you achieve it. Mm. I can tell you my moment. Mm-hmm. It was a long fucking time ago. Stop, drop. When I see yeah. every car passing by playing that song, it was over from that point on. I, I, I knew that I had something to work with in this life. Mm. And it was because of that song, sitting on the stoop in front of 125th Street, in front of the mart, on a mm. fire... Uh, the little fire things that you could just sit on, the two heads come out, pause. Um, <laughs> and I just watched cars, I watched 80, 80, I think it was like 89 cars, and like an hour and a half, I counted them motherfuckers playing my song. That's when I felt fancy. The Porsche building and all that stuff, that's cool stuff, that's materialistic things. Right. No, no I'm into that. No, I'm no, into no that. but I'm gonna tell you something. That. I wanna talk Porsche building talk. Like, like, we could talk Porsche building talk, <laughs> but like, if the Porsche building talk don't match our portfolio, then mm. it doesn't mean anything. Mm. God damn it. Let me make some you know noise saying? for that nigga. Being like, an all around nigga. Because me, I ain't gonna front. If, if, if I was where you was at, I was the only one who took Porsche building shit. I'm gonna be honest, because I'm a fellow nigga. What was your moment, Nori, when you were like, I done made the transition. I'm still trying to make that transition. Stop lying. Stop lying. Let me talk about you on your show now. I just now. came to Dumbo House, okay? I was, I'm here to see Victor Santiago. <laughs> Shout out to the shout out to Michael Carey's the owners of the That's Dumbo right. House. Guy. <laughs> Guy. <Come> on, <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> no, but um uh I, I don't know. I don't I actually don't know. Um uh when it, it was just uh, when I stopped wanting to hang out in the hood. When I stopped wanting to hang out in the hood, I was just like I was doing this dumb shit, meeting people in Soho House, and meeting people at anywhere, anywhere other than the hood. You know what I mean? Because I knew every time I was in the hood, I was uh, um, doing something dumb. So that that I, don't, I can't tell you what year, I can't tell you whatever, but. Swiss says it was what, what, what? It was what, what, what? I know what time it was. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you something. You was in the desert, Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something, Swiss. Let me tell you something. The beat that we were supposed to do before Band from TV. Do you remember that beat? I don't. Where did that beat? No, I and heard Jungle. Okay. Had an intricate part of Band from TV. No, I hey, told hey, me that. Hey, 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 let me just pitch you Queen, on. This Queen story. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Let's get to the real talk. What happened is this. I'm gonna right. see who you gonna battle too. I got some questions Ooh. for you now. I'm in. I'm in. I, I don't back down either, y'all. But <laughs> so, well, listen, but listen, I'm gonna just tell you what happened. Um, what happened was, I walked uh, to the firm session. It's how we filmed. I'm leaving. Dr. Mm. Dre was the, the engineer. He was what? the actual. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, he, he was the he, firm he, album. He was firm the actual album. Eminem. So he was like, "Yo, are you ready?" And I was like, "Oh shit!" Because they didn't tell me like what's going on. Just walked in the studio. <laughs> I was like, oh. He checked like, levels. And he's like, he, he like, yo. <laughs> so Dr. Dre was the engineer. So I'm late. I'm leaving. This was actually nature's session. No, no, that's you replaced right. somebody, right? This was, <laughs> huh? You replaced somebody, wasn't it? No, no, no. This was nature's session. So uh, it was I, supposed to be nature's. Isn't that why nature got the shout out? Nature got the shout out in the beginning? This is why nature 
was on ban from TV. Zone. Oh, zone. oh that's, right, that's right. That's right. Zone, zone, so zone. when I when I when I laid, I'm leaving. No. Um, it was nature session, so nature could have easily said, "Fuck Nori." Take right. him the fuck off of this shit. Why would he do that? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just being okay, honest. You know, this is the this is the era we lived in at that time. So nature didn't do that. So the, the reason this is why I'm bringing up Van from TV. So the um what happened was I wanted to pay nature back. On which way? On Van from TV. Listen, okay, listen, I'm, listen. I'm, I'm tuned. But in. it wasn't Van from TV at this story. time. <laughs> so we came there and you played me one of the most amazing beats in the world. And I wrote a whole song to it, but nature showed up, and I had to pay him back for not hating. You had a smoke with nature? No, no. Nah, they had I to mean, give him a beat because he took his session. I took his session, took his session. In, in L.A. Okay, got so it. I'm a real nigga, and no, yo, not. you play, you play, you play. <laughs> Damn, Swiss, don't do that to me. Not, not, but, you, you, you a real no, king. Listen, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Give it up so, for listen, the king. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, not the mode I so said. Listen, yeah. I'm gonna remind you. So mm-hmm. you played, you played every beat you played. I had a verse for, but then you played "Bad" from TV. But that was the intro to the beat, and that was a looped beat, I right? The whole beat. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna give you the alley oop. No, no, because it's not even the alley oop. I'm remembering some shit that I've lost. But go ahead. I'm gonna give you the alley oop. So when you did it, nature was like. And he didn't even say he likes it. He just went like this. And me and you, and you just looped the shit. Because remember, it's two inch rails at the time. <laughs> and you just put the shit in, put it on. And like you said, we never actually loaded the real beat. Ban from TV. It's a loop. No. <laughs> it's an intro. No, yes. Yeah. Ban from TV, which you hear, kept spinning on the same is part. the intro to yeah. the beat. <laughs> That was made. They they didn't even want to get to the beat. <laughs> they, just kept rap- they, just kept, they just kept rapping. On the- yeah. They just kept rapping. They just kept rapping on the motherfucker. Can we hear the beat? The Can beat we finally hear the beat, beat today? Never going to drop. We need to hear the beat today. The young drop. Swiss was so stressed. He was like, Yo, you know what's so another part? I'm like, I can't like, chill. I'm telling you, they didn't drop to that other piece. They let this man get to the beat. They just ignored me the whole time. So now let me let me just tell you. Let me just tell you what happened. And you you can. Let's stop me at any point if I'm wrong. What happened was I wanted to pay nature back. <laughs> so nature, Swiss played 17 things. No, about 30. N- about 30. Yeah. Nature didn't get But once he played Bam from TV, this is where Swiss is 100 million percent correct because it was just the intro. And nature wrote his whole shit to that. At that y'all time, all wrote y'all. you pun, everybody did that. Let me finish. Can't even the beat. Pun <laughs> is pun goes to great papayas. <laughs> yeah. He sees. <laughs> he, you remember? Cause we were an electric uh, lady. You know I'm. You know I'm on point. We were an electric lady. on the couch so, sideways. So I pun comes to my session. He disrespects everything. So he just comes there and goes, "Yo, nigga, you didn't, you didn't tell me to come." So I was like, "Yo, this is some queen shit," and he's like, "Alright, go." Boom, I go downstairs, smoke a cigarette. Pun lays a whole verse. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne on the rocks, and then, because there's not a lot of rocks. <laughs> and I say? come upstairs, and, and mind you, I'm like, yo, Pun, this is disrespectful, recipes, man. Pun. God bless the recipe. I'm like, this is disrespectful. He's like, you gonna erase that? <laughs> <laughs> and I just looked at is him he like. You? No, 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 no I, I ain't gonna lie, he was a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, Pun, you're gonna, like, yes, I'm gonna erase that. Knowing I'm, there's no way I'm gonna erase this. And then Cam, because who comes next? Come on, Has, where you at? That's what was that? That's right there, but Cam. Cam comes next? Mm, yeah, Cam comes next because. Kiss. No, 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 not Kiss. The Locks. The Locks. Yeah, the Locks. The locks. So now let me just tell you something. Styles, I love Styles. The first time I met Styles, I wanted to kill him. I'm gonna be honest it's with you. Called, it's called the entry point. This is my bro- Listen, if Styles <laughs> land in Miami right now, I'll give him the keys to my house. And I will not mm-hmm. ever look, I will not even question him what you're gonna do with my house. Yo, Styles, hold on. Then, Styles is the same fucking way. I'm working on some shit with them. 
I went to Styles. He said, "Yeah, you know I'm with all the goofy shit." <laughs> <laughs> like he still like yo, I'm like yo. Yo, Swiss, listen, hear me out. Back then, he comes to band from TV. He says, "You got weed?" I said, "Yeah." The nigga grabbed my weed, rolled it up, smoked it, right in my face. And never passed. He it never to passed me. it. <sighs> I never seen Styles pass a blunt ever in my life. It was the most disrespectful shit I ever seen. I'm looking, I'm like, who is this nigga? Hey, yo, I SP, know who he is. SP, send him a fucking pound. No, 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 no. This is my, this is my brother know. now. Is my brother. But I looked, I just couldn't, I couldn't understand. And then later, he, he actually him. like, he actually he like crushed up some weed and gave it back to me. But at the first, I was like, damn, this guy is. He's the worst guy I ever met. Now he's me and him is like this. I give him my motherfucking. Sh but this is banned from TV session. You made that be. What was in your mind? Destruction. Excuse me, I'm not a destruction. I, 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 like, I thought we was being humble a little bit. No humbleness. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck that destruction. You're not humble. I'm, I'm humble all the time, but sometimes I gotta say what it is. Destruction. 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 I thought destruction. You just throw the lighter down? No, I ain't gonna fry. I was with him. I'm with destruction, nigga. Destruction. Let's just destruct some shit. No, I'm in a mold, bro. Yes. Poison. Poison. Let's talk about that album. Right? In life, we gotta face our poisons okay. in order to poison. You got a track list? I need a track list. No, I can show you, but I can tell you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's, I don't but even want to show Listen, I just said some shit. Mm. In life, we gotta face our poison in order to poise on. Mm. Because you know you was born from your mother and you a poised son. You understand? That was hard. Like what we gonna get to in this record is, is serious, mm. right? And a lot of people wanna like run from the poison or secretly fuck with it, mm. right? Mm. This, when they see my album cover, they gonna think I'm on some old, some whole other type of satanic shit. Illuminati? Whatever they want to call it. A bunch that's of mathematicians. That's what they're going to call it. No, bunch of, uh, alchemy? Yeah, a bunch of mathematicians. Yeah, I, 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 I join, I join. Yeah, so, I'm in. No, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. No. Just My playing. wife even asked me one time. What, you mean? Just, <laughs> what do you mean you just playing? It's <laughs> oh, oh, a just bunch money. of mathematicians. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Let's do the real homework on what that shit really means. It's not really bad as we think. Right? They made it like that because there's a bunch of people getting ahead in science. But anyways, poison, uh -huh. poison, poison, mm. poisonic. Mm. I'll show you better than I can tell you. And I, and, and I see you have Bell Bib and DeVoe. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never hear their name like that. Bell Bib and, and DeVoe. DeVoe. <laughs> Wow. They're a group. Bell 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 Jeez. Right? My, my next one album. One of them is with Nas? No, 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 no. It's nothing to do with that. Okay. My, Actual my, Swiss album. Yeah, yeah. What? My next album is an R&B album, Beauty mm. and the Beats. Mm. Right? And then my next album after that is uh, Return of the Showtime, which is all energy. Mm. So imagine Party Up on 10,000 wow. on every song. Right? Because people, they look at me for the anthems and the energy. I want to get them a body. I, I want to carry send me a wanna, track for that one. I want to carry. I, I got I, you. Uh, you about to be busy. All right, mm -hmm. yeah, I got you. more than you are. All right. Right. So what I want to do is curate oh. all of my works because I can't put all of my expressions on on, on one on one body of work mm. and and expect people to feel some spiritual shit from it mm. and and feel the feel the zone. Right. Like imagine I got this Nas verse that y'all talking about, or you know um, this Wayne track that. The, the, that's, that's, I show you the video off of site. It's pretty crazy. And, and you shot a video with and, Jim Jones and, and, too, right? And, and, zone and yeah. Young Thug too. Oh, zone. We, we watching you, Nick. Zone, zone, zone. Ahead, zone. Shout, shout out to all of them because yeah. everybody um, responded. And just at some point, you gotta tell um, Young Thug, um, slime comes from the y'all. I don't know why. I don't know why he hold thinks. On, hold on. This is my friend. I, that's in my mind. mind. 
But I'm gonna tell he's you what, friend. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you something. Know but he needs to well, know that. He did that on my record from. joint. Ain't over the world. Ain't never. No, had that's a, that's dope. Ain't never had before. Well, I love. Come on, nigga. I, you know, I'm the, I'm the, the. What is this shit? If this a hater, I'm the other side of the room. I've never been a hater. But you know, he got a slime language. Every. I feel like people should know that. You know, slime yeah, comes from no me. Slime, 2001. Yeah. That's it. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't want to. I don't want nothing. I don't. I, ain't I just wanna, think I that y'all both got different. Y'all got different meanings to the to the to the, to the word. That's no, it's, there's no different meanings. So let's come on. Let's be honest. This is drink champs. I brung this game, that word to the game. You did say slime a long time. I said slime in 2001. You know blood? No, hell no. They turned it into blood. Got it. Shit, but that's okay. And we're I don't mind. Gonna, we're not going to fight over no name. And niggas, and niggas you, I don't want that name. I don't own it. I don't give a fuck. But all king. I just wanted to say. That's all I, that's all I wanted to say. But, 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 but maybe he don't know. Maybe we need to make that's a phone call. That's why I said someone mm-hmm. needs to. I, okay, I, 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 I do that. That's why I said. That's why I, I don't. Because I'm you know, my nigga. You know, you know I'm good things, whether, you know whether you acknowledge it or not. You know a lot of things. I'm still being behind You know a lot of people. We drinking motherfucking my You know a lot of people. A lot of people. The y'all are high. King. You know a lot of people not on this earth because of miscommunication? Mm. Mm. It's simple Absolutely. shit. Like, mm. if you look at the things that's happening even in, 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 in Chicago and all these different places, Deep. it's off of miscommunication, Deep. off of something that one brother could have just said, yo, I walked by, I was going to pick up my kid. I was rushing there. So when, you, when I gave you the fake handshake, it wasn't because of no smoke. Mm. It was right. because I was really... Right. Focus on something else at the time. Damn, I thought you was disrespecting the zone. Nah, I wasn't. I was on this. Oh, we don't communicate with each other enough as a culture. That's real. You understand? So, and you see, I respect the young, young toast blood. Toast to that. You nigga, know what I'm saying? Too like, much pride in, in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta. Uh-huh. No, it's too much pride, and we too fucking emotional. Yeah. Mm. As a culture, we too emotional. Niggas, we, we so emotional Jackson right now. We so emotional. Vote this me. Hold on. You chose to do that. Y'all. You chose so to do that. But know, I medium wine no, yo, let me tell you, you chose to do that. Ball. This is my people right now. He, chose, he made me forget what the fuck I was going to say. Yeah, We're talking okay. about pride. We're talking about pride. Emotional. It's okay. Too emotional pride. Let me tell you something, Swiss. Let me tell you something, man. I see you. Hold on. We, we too emotional okay. that we don't handle business. Mm. Let me tell you when you lost your... You, wanna, you, you know what we do? Tell them. We get in front of a person that's on a higher ranking. Yo, V, I need one more. We get in front of a person that's, in, that's higher ranking. What do we tell them? They want to do a big deal with us. We, we, we do shit like this as a culture, and we got to stop it. We get in front of this big guy, this big fucking tycoon, and you know he's the guy, he's the biggest guy. Billion dollars, well, whatever the fuck your money is. And you got drink champs. You Noriega, the Don. Damn. Can we use somebody else as an example? Because I don't want, because I feel like you're going to say this is from fucking the situation. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so use somebody okay. else. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, I got drink champs too. Use Ganji. Ganji. Okay, Ganji. So, okay, so Ganji. You, you Ganji. 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 Right? So sorry, Ganji. So you got to take it. No, no, but seriously. <laughs> you Ganji the Don. Ganji the Don. You sitting next to the Don Don. He's worth a billion dollars, or she's worth a billion dollars. You on her boat. Mm-hmm. She paid for you to fly out here on a plane. Mm-hmm. And they want to do a deal with you. And you know that what you have is a good product. Then they sit at the table. And they, you, you know why people want to meet with you? You know why people have meetings at dinner? You know why? Why? I know you know why. But the reason why, they want to know how much they can take advantage of you. You understand? Mm. When they sit down and they want to have an out of office meeting with you, they want to know. They want to read your body language. Fuck your body language. They want to meet your mind language. They might might have a hundred million dollars on that table. But you might leave out justifying ten million. Based off of your conversation that night. They smoothed you. You got comfortable. Right. You got agreeable. It wasn't even about the deal at that point. It was about, yeah, you know, I went to Stanford. And you talking about, I went to the zone of the streets of creativity. You just coming up whatever the fuck you coming up with, and that's why now is power is. So at that at that meeting, they assessing how they should handle you going forward, mm. and we got to know that when we sitting down and we going. I need to be able to tell you more about your company than you fucking know, man. You know, um, this year could have been a better year. I know you took the loss on this and that, but if you'd have did this, then it could have went up by like fifteen percent, and then this, this, and this. 
you gotta flex on these motherfuckers, man. Like, let's stop being sitting ducks that's waiting to get shot. We just so happy to be in position that we're fucking ignorant about the position. Mm. If they talk to you, they need you. Mm. You understand? No, when a person come to you, they already know how they can take advantage of you. We gotta stop being the sitting duck that's waiting to get taken advantage of, and we gotta know our worth. You understand? If Angela Lee is 10 million, then fuck it, it's 10 million. You got 10 million? I would like to borrow money. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You better talk to the both party. I'm just saying in general. Whoever, whoever, whoever it is. And there's no color on this. Uh -huh. Education has no color. Mm -hmm. All right? Education has no color. Like so let me of, ask you this. Why did you go to Harvard? You you up already. For education. Just yeah, why did you even go? God tell them the reason. Good. The reason why I went to Harvard was because I was doing mergers and acquisitions. Wait, you talking about uh, what? Mergers, meaning merging companies together and acquisition of that Bond. company buying another company um, due to I got to go to Harvard. I'm just throwing it out you there. Know, you yeah. know what? You know what? But I still don't know but, what the but, fuck but let you me just not, said. Let me not, mislead, let me not mislead the people. You don't need an Ivy League school to be yeah. educated. Mm. I went to Harvard as a challenge to myself. Mm. It was something that I wanted to like, it was a wall I wanted to knock down. But everything I learned in school, you could learn online. But you know, the networking you could do at a place like that with people That's who are difference. involved with other companies. You're right. That's what those Ivy League schools companies. are for, now, now, the now, now the networking, second to none. Hands down, I give, it, I give you that. But the educational piece that you're gonna pro process internally, mm -hmm. you can get in many places. And no disrespect to my Harvard alumni, I love y'all. I'm sending y'all my Gordon Parks collection. Yes. Right, we zoning out. You know, the biggest Gordon Parks collection in the world is the Dean collection because we got to start owning the culture. We can't say we fuck with the culture and don't own the culture. We talking about we culture and don't own no parts of the culture. What part is that? There's guy, no black honest. label. There's no black owned labels 100%. Mm. So you believe in the term culture vulture? Facts. It's a lot of them. If I ever got down to, if I, if I, Huh. Shit. Swiss we ain't gonna relax. do that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, Swiss? What was that? Oh, we ain't gonna, gonna do that laugh. tonight. No, I'm the real talk because I'm gonna put a lot of people in bad shape. Well, we could talk about it if, if we would no, like to. No, because I don't, the, the thing is, like, I could put a lot of people in bad shape, but I could also hurt the immediate family that's in these situations mm. as a culture. Mm. You understand? So everything is based on timing and everything is based on education. I hated school. I got kicked out of every school I went to. You can look at my records, it's whatever, you know. You went to Harvard. This, this, that, you know. It's hard. But when I changed my mentality, I changed the way that I would intake education. You know, people, people tell us the keys of life since, since young. It's just what we listen to and we, what we choose not to. Mm. Now, did you have to live on campus or you chose to? I, had, um, I chose to and had to. Mm -hmm. Did you have right. a double bedroom? Nice that was a Yeah, you could have done it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Shit, my, 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 my dorm was no slouch. We had a 100 point wine. Cuban sick. Cuban, excuse me. Excuse you me. had to share a bathroom with the whole floor? No, we had our own bathroom. Okay. We wasn't, we wasn't no doing No college, that. and we had to share the showers. No, there's other there's dorms, there's other dorms that do that, but <laughs> no, um, I'm about to say no commission. But um, <laughs> OPM pays um, more in. In, 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 in Harvard than any other situation. So they kind of give us a little bit of, of a space, you know? But when I graduated, they gave us the space. Man. I was like, damn, we could have been like this the whole time. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But um, they're doing a case study on me at, at Harvard. And my goal was to be the first case study from the Bronx in Harvard. And I think we accomplished that. And then I said, and, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's serious. That's and, all. And I had to add my wife um, as a part of that because, you know, you need to oh. get a, a male and a female side because women are powerful. Oh, come on, everybody, give them all. Oh, oh. 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 You, oh. Listen, we don't get a lot of alls on drink champs. No, but but, but that was all. That's all. No, but give them one more, y'all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's beautiful. I love. You know. You know what? I love my wife too. Let me be honest. I'll give you all, nigga. You want to all for me, nigga? <laughs> I accepted that motherfucker too. Yeah, all right, cool. Let me just tell you I'm something. Right and say we said all. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Um, I feel like that should be more appreciated in hip hop. A lot of us, 
because if a person, you know, goes out there, they do, do the wrong thing, that shit will be showcased, it'll be whatever. But all yeah. right, cool, now, you know, you, you love your wife, you with your wife, yeah. you know, um, what, what Ho was doing, what, what I'm doing, it's like, I think that should be more showcased. I think, the, I envy. 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 I knew, that's an envy, envy. like, They're not you know, gonna showcase that because why? the society is built to tear us apart from one another. Yeah, but how do we change that, though? We, this change, is, this we, is, we, we, we change that by not compromising per what the viewers want to hear and see. Mm. You understand? If we want to pro, uh, project positivity, we be the leaders in projecting. I love that. seeing Remy and Papoose, though. And, yeah. and, and also, and I also, love, listen, keep your a wife, saga Mary court on your yacht. Do, she could get That's me to do something you, faster you than him. That's right? Keep so, a saga. <laughs> nigga got, yo, yo, did y'all yeah, niggas see the saga? I with my wife. No, like, let's, just, like, let's go back to the saga court for a second. about that shit, You had a saga, nigga. I never seen this. I was looking like this is my nigga. He did bad from TV. Not yeah, football. You it was football. football. Said. This nigga had <laughs> nigga bag, huh? Yo, yo, slime. Am I lying? Slime, you were there. Nigga had a soccer court on a yacht. I said, I, I've that, never is seen it this. A soccer court. Soccer field. Soccer uh, field. It was, it was. It was crazy. Y'all had a full court basketball court. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a zone. But, but you know what? I want to show. I want to. As you should, and everybody should. I want to show my kids things to, to where when they when they grow older and people try to entice them with materialistic things, it doesn't mean anything. They've been doing that since they was a baby. Let's get to the position where we teaching our kids that God these damn. materialistic things don't God guide their life. You God understand? Damn. It ain't nothing but a fucking thing that floats on the water, and they just happen to have a cycle on it. You wow. understand? God damn it! Let's not make this thing. Let's not make these things important. You talk to any of my kids. You take them to any store, they only pick up three things. No, one of your, one of your, my, my, the older son is my nigga. Nah, this is he, the one. He, 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 he trying to chop everything he, he, down. He, he, he work, trying to chop every what? little girl he down. He went over silver. I had to get away from him. Is he hanging out with your son or no, your No, 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 no. Now, yeah, I didn't connect him because it. he was in Bell Harbor, and I said, nigga, you rich. You just <laughs> hanging out in Bell Harbor. He's not rich, because he ain't, his, my money is my money. He got to earn his. God damn it. Talk you to understand? Like, don't, That's what I'm going to tell my son. Don't let your kids think they rich because That's what I told my son. you earn. Keep going. Let them think they rich spiritually first of what they earn mm. and then you know put your work in and then you earn what you earn you understand mm. i gave my my son got it he got an old cadillac that was ak mother's car god damn that's i don't care about his friends riding around in porsches well, those are the same one that's gonna pay no disrespect but no, i get on some bullshit yep let them mm. earn their way oh. you understand let's not the one thing you can't do and this is the realest thing i might say tonight yes you can't You can't pay for time. You can't pay for time, right? There's no exchange with cash for time, right? Most people, they give this money and think that that means something. The time that you put in with your kids is more valuable than the fucking currency. The currency of time and education and talking and father time or mom time with your kid is the most valuable thing you could ever do in life. You, there's no payoff of that. I don't give a fuck. You get them a Bugatti, they'll crash that shit, and you'll still be the deadbeat dad. You understand? Fuck that. Put your time in with your kids, educate them, and give them freedom too. Because they can't be saved from this world. What's going to happen is going to happen. Let them have their freedom, but give them the goals to understand the meaning of why they're here, and give them the blueprint to start to discover why they're here. Because life is a discovery. We'll never know why we're here. Even, even when we die, we'll still be figuring it out because it's still a process, it's a growing process. And we gotta teach our kids how to give back. In my kids, we give allowance, it's three buckets. One you save, one you keep, and the other you give away. I don't care what amount it is, whether it's birthday gifts, cash, whatever. You gotta raise your kids on the give back. You gotta raise your kid, kids on the saving. And you gotta raise your kids on how to celebrate themselves too. Cause we don't celebrate each other enough as a culture. Mm. You understand? Mm. We only wanna celebrate Aretha Franklin because she's not here now. We was all these posting all these pictures when she was here living, kicking, chilling. Ain't nobody give a fuck about what, sis, what the queen was doing. Now we want to do all these tributes. Like, come on, it's that's too what late. Drink Champs is. Yeah, that's why we started Drink Champs. Zone, we motherfuckers zone. celebrate our yeah. artists while they're alive. Thank you, Switch, for giving me the alley oop. Alley oop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rest in peace to the Queen. The yeah, yeah rest definitely. Peace. Rest in yes. But that's that's what Drink Champs is about. Is because all these people they celebrate you exactly like you said. 
after they die. But we want to celebrate you while you're alive. We want to give That's you your flowers while you can smell them. We want to give you your thoughts while they, you can we'll tell them them your drinks while you can drink them. We'll and yeah, I forgot yeah. the other. And you know what? Like they always say when you yeah. live your life, you got to think about how you want people to remember you when your life is over. That's how you should live your life. No, but that's what that's the lack of our culture. Like he said, is is, is that's the only thing is, you know, every, uh, we always competing with each other. And what what about fuck Ooh. the competing? Ooh, what don't about? Don't let me get talking on that. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm no, but I'm saying, we're, really, really, what, what is the, why we have to compete with each other when we can, you know? You know what people, mm -hmm. you know what people, you know what people get messed up. They think that they're separated from us. Mm. When you mention rap music as a genre, you mention everybody under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. Hove, I know you're a big dog. Mm -hmm. Puff, I know you're a big dog. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Swiss, Nori, I know we mm -hmm. all big. But we in the same categories of everybody yep. that we might not even fuck with. The little is the we, we think that our currency separates us from that in society. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's deep, so it's, You understand? You go on so this There's Swiss. no fucking big eyes on the use when it comes to the culture. So you could stand on stage and there might be fifty thousand people there, but you might not be no better than Takashi Six Nine in that in that particular episode. Mm. Whether you like it or not. Mm. Look at the world as a whole. It's a genre, it's a, it's a, it's a culture, it's a movement. And our financial sit status doesn't separate us as much as we think we do. We might could be on a fucking boat or a plane a little bit more than others, but when it comes to the music, we all mention in that same fucking sentence. God damn it, Swiss. Relax. God damn it, Swiss. So what's next? Is this TV show happening? Which one? I said that you guys are supposed to be doing a show about the blended family. Um, um, Shonda's leading the way with that. I think that's um, that's her dream. You know, those are her assets. You know, even with the book that we did, she has full ownership. Nobody took nothing in that because, like, if you're gonna do something, and this is another thing, if you're gonna do something for somebody, Yo, are you the best human being? <laughs> no, 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 Jesus, go ahead, keep I'm, going. I'm flawed like a motherfucker. I'm gonna shut the honest. fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm flawed like that a motherfucker. That shit is real. I'm just, I'm just, no, figuring, I'm just realizing no, I love who I am. This shit. That's hard. I'm just realizing who I am. But like, imagine if we got this book come out called Blend. Me and my wife own 60% of the book. That is, is that a real gesture or is that like? Like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, are we Swiss. paying her to do this? Or are we doing this because we really want to do it? We doing it because we really want to do it. So there's no compensations on um, helping people fix their households on a difficult situation that we had to deal with. You understand? So you gave like, her all the rights. Because she earned all those. That was her, this was her concept. And This nigga you know, Swiss. Why, why not? Oh, my like, God. Seriously. She why not? She wrote you know, it. And I see Alicia wrote, wrote the foreword. Yeah. We, we the, participated. What's the foreword? What the is beginning that? of the book yeah, before the, the book, book started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the before word. Snickers. Snickers. Yo, you are the Farrakhan <laughs> no, of hip hop. No, no. God damn hold it. on, hold on. Don't give me no props. I give my wife props, right? I give my wife props. Let me tell you why Baby, I give my I'm wife props. Baby, I'm coming home tonight different. I'm just standing there because this nigga is <laughs> fucking me up tonight. I always thought I'm the best something. nigga in the room. Let me tell you it's something. still right now. Huh? Swear you going too far. No, let me tell you something. I, I give my I give my wife props on a grandioso scale because. She took shots that didn't even belong to her. You understand? And that's real talks on my kids' lives. My wife took shots that didn't belong to her, and... I'm sorry, this is Drink Champ, so we actually have to ask the shots. No, no, you know the shots, you, you see No, them. I don't know, it's not me. It's, she, it's, I'm not gonna get into it because I don't wanna, right? Okay, yeah, okay, I, don't I, really, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. my wife took a lot of shots, and and, and, and she and she, stand, she stood up tall, Beautiful. and and for her, Positive. She even gave me positive advice in, in a dark time of things that we was going through emotionally. Mm. And my wife took a lot of shots that didn't belong to her. Mm. All of them that you heard of. Those shots don't belong to her. Mm. And she took them and she's still supporting. And she still is about my son KJ. And she's still about Mashonda. Look, we about to go to Egypt together as a family. But how, how, how do you fix that? As, a, as like, I mean, I mean, give advice to people. Like, you know, I, I, like, I'm just being honest. Um, I said that earlier, like, um, you know, I flew my ex-wife and my kids out and they stayed with me. And my, my wife now, 
she 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 offers like I'll take you out of the airport. Y'all gonna call no she Uber? She ain't touch that dog when you're nice though. Huh? Wait, wait, what? The dog, <laughs> you guys dog. She was like, you hold the dog. You remember, you remember? I was here. Narcos? You leave Narcos alone. No, huh? no you started <laughs> fucking with Narcos. Huh. And you was sauced the fuck up, and you thought to she's like, hmm. Mm-mm. We got to relax. He might have killed the dog. <laughs> so, so listen, so how did you no, start? No, no, the way she, no, no, she, no, no, she no, no, was she taking, the dog. She was she taking so crazy. So, <laughs> we ain't going to talk about knockers. So let's how, go, let's go. How did you, because, because listen, for everybody that needs yeah. advice, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, yes. because you know what it is? Sometimes yeah. you have a divorce from somebody, yeah. and you move on. It doesn't yeah. mean you're a bad person from that yeah, situation. Okay. So how did you start that? initial situation where, um, like, I moved I think, on. It doesn't think, mean I'm a bad I think, person. I think the way that I started that was blaming myself for my wrongs. Yeah. Where did you say, you know, Swiss? You know, that, was, had, that was had, way too I deep. To, I had to take responsibility of my wrongs. I just felt like you gave us the Malcolm X answer. I would like the Swiss no, beast from I'm the giving, Bronx. I'm giving answer. you, I, I'm always Swiss beast okay. from the Bronx. Okay. <laughs> and much respect to Malcolm X. But <laughs> real talk, real talk as men, mm. we got to accept our bullshit. You understand? Mm. Mm-hmm. We gotta accept our bullshit. I'm not gonna sit here and watch two queens go to war um, because of things that I might have done wrong at that particular time, you know, particularly with, 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 with my ex being young. You understand? And it's like, yo, man, we just, nobody never told us how to get married. Mm-hmm. There's no books on like how we should um, behave ourselves coming from mm-hmm. the jungle, right. right? There's no rules as black men there's no ru- rules as brown and black and Hispanic and however you want to name it. Like, you know, um, fuck, man, I got to take responsibility for my part. I got to take know responsibility. Crazy? But you never, a, you've never was, really been single the whole time since you've been popping. Like, yeah. you've never been single. But when you, you say responsibility for... Let me for, answer that. I would love to answer that. When you say responsibility <laughs> for your part, I don't understand because <laughs> what do you mean responsibility for your part? Your part in, of what? Responsibility that, you know, um, I was in the situation that I outgrew. And we both was in a situation that we outgrew. And to let two women fight, like why, why my name was never really brought up in this? Mm-hmm. Why was this all about my um, current wife? Why, me and a, a particular you know, spirit and, and sister was going through something, but why I never got the blame for none of it? And I look at all this media and nobody talking about me. No, they did talk about you. Bro. No, no, no. But it's not because of her status, too. I'm going to be honest. It is. It it's because of her status. It if is. nobody knew who she it was. Is, but, but oh, it oh, you're talking been... about, oh, oh, Yes, okay. yes, right? Okay, oh, that right? Part, so, right. So for me, I seen all the headlines, and it was about, like, I got stolen in a fucking bank robbery or something. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a strong man. I'm, mm-hmm. from, I'm, I'm, I'm Rough Riders. I'm mm-hmm. from the Bronx. I'm not a clown. Yes. There's no way to steal me. Mm-hmm. Anything that I'm doing is because I want to do it. And because it's time to do it, mm-hmm. you understand? It's, you can't steal me from nobody. I'm a loyal person. I'm not. You can't just steal me. I'm not a clown. Like, I'm not a toy. But you just mm-hmm. feel like you could have did things differently. Um, man. Like everybody could have. I could have did. I, I I did everything. I didn't. I man, that's a fucking question because mm. you know. So I see here. You know. You know. <laughs> sorry, I think, sorry. I, you know what I think? Sorry, stress. I think me and my ex could have did things differently. You understand, and and, 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 and and that's your friend, and that's my friend today. It's all about um, still, and, and, and you know, KJ is a bright kid, and my, I love my son. But at the end of the day, you know, we was both um, dealing with something that that wasn't really nobody's business. To but be it honest. was very public. That's hard. And it was public. It was public it's because hard. it was public because one felt some type of way. You know, um, no disrespect, but. You know, my ex was, was dating three people before I dated one. Well, before we was, you know what I'm saying? But let, let's, not be, let's, not, let's not get to it, right? We don't have to. Because I don't want to hurt nobody, but at the end of the day, my wife, she took shots that wasn't deserved to her, and that's just the fuck it. And I'm not even, I don't even like it. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and, because and, because we on, when we on our eight year honeymoon, and people on these, on these particular sites talking about <coughs> sis, that only be that only been respectable, and it's like in a negative way because she's supposed to be on this level, and now everybody that can um, feel like they could be on her level by bringing them bringing her down. Right. As a man, I don't like it. I, Yo, but but let, but let me bring you back to the actual question that I actually asked. Is because I ain't answering. You guys, that. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, because you guys are at the most beautiful level. Like I see you. 
and your your ex and so how did that that's that that was my original question. It probably okay. takes time. You you, you had the vet. I, I respect that. I got it. <laughs> yeah. So no, let you go. I told you shit, but like, but you know what? But because it's you, so you know, beautiful, you know, like you know, I see you know how we got it was to Thanksgiving that? or something. You know and how we got to that? All at the same you know thing? how we got to that? Yeah. Because everybody took responsibility. Mm. Now now just think about it. Mm. Angela, mm -hmm. would you be able to sit next to me and my family if I tore your fucking life apart? Maybe no. after eight years. Nah, this no, is before eight years. <laughs> no. no, no, absolutely not. No, what? real talk. But forget all the drama. What we did was we created a communication mm -hmm. that had kids involved. Right. Mm. And these kids that's involved in that's being in this world. Mm. And us as adults, we have to be the leading examples of what we want them to be. Right? Mm -hmm. So if we want them to be at this greatness, we can't be sitting here showing out because of our egos. We got to be showing out because, because we want to we wanna, we wanna help, help them get to the next level. And, and I can't say it wasn't easy. But the time that those two powerful ladies put in was very epic and monumental. It didn't really even have nothing to do with me like that. They was communicating and it's like, babe, I think we should invite Mashonda over for Thanksgiving. Damn, you feel like that? Yeah, that's the KJ's gonna be there. Like we want him to be comfortable. That's his mom. You know what I'm saying? Why she she's supposed to be sitting at our table? That's dope. Word. For the kids. Let's go. Okay. And then it takes Mashonda saying, yo, you know what? I'm gonna come there. I'm ready to do this too. It's, it's an equal exchange of greatness, but the culture, us as a culture, we gotta stop standing in line for our downsides and our downfall. We gotta be in. A, we gotta stand in line for our greatness. You understand? Use with we, me and my ex and my current wife. Like use us as examples of how to move forward, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of. There's a lot of reasons of us to move backwards, but there's not a lot of reasons of why we should move forward. Use us as a reason to move forward. You understand? Forward your fucking mentality. Forward your thinking. Forward your intentions. Forward your life. You understand? You might not be cool with this person today, but you might be cool with her tomorrow because your kid didn't ask to be here. You understand? Understand why we really here. Seriously. Don't make me zone out. Now let's get back to you having never been single. <laughs> in a long time since you've been successful uh, because yeah. you got married young yeah. and then right after that situation and another situation. How does that work for you? Um, I'm sorry, like Swiss. This is a different part of Drink Chance. <laughs> 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 you just got it wrong for me. You got it wrong for me. I really like to answer that because, <laughs> you know, um, I, I learned a long time ago that stability was the key to life, right? And even when, even when I was separated, I f it felt super lonely. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to the club, this, that, but then I'm like, I don't trust nobody. Yeah. I'm a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust nobody. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, there's no blood. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, he, I don't trust nobody. <laughs> right. So like, imagine like coming home to the club with somebody you don't know. I don't know how to do that type of shit. Mm -hmm. I gotta know you, know you, know you, for you to be in my community. And so. Um, a OG once told me that stability is the key to life, and everybody that I, everybody that I was with, I felt I had stability with at that time, and which is the reason why I wanted to build families with with, with those people that I was with, you know. And um, I just wanted stability because imagine being successful, being black, financially being stable in America, right? It's only, it's only shaitan that's waiting for you at the end of the day. It's only the devil that's waiting for you at the end of the day. And I watched everybody that had that freedom. They even went to drugs, or they went just like, it just was, it just, the, the ending wasn't good. And so like, um, this OG told me one time, like, yo, you gotta be stable, even in business. If you're not married, business people won't take you serious. You're a risk. If you don't have stability, you're a risk in business. They want to come and visit your family. They want to visit your kids. They want to do this. If you don't have those things, you're alive. I think that ended with Schmucks. You ever <laughs> seen that movie? Dinner with Schmucks. <laughs> I, I, I did see that. That's a reference point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. shit, too. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Nori's wife makes me like him more. Mm. I, don't, I don't know where this it's came from. It's true. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. The reason I'm here today is because Nori was like, come meet us. <laughs> 
Jesus, I had no Mary idea I'm being that set up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mary, you know, got that sound, 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 sound. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, like, like, yo, your wife, right. you got a beautiful wife. Kid. Oh, thank you. She wouldn't even let you hurt the dog. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. I be throwing the dog sometimes. <laughs> throwing the dog? Whoa. A little bit, though. Have to be quite oh, that. Throwing the dog. Throwing the dog. That's not fucking up, Jay Chan. Don't throw the dog. No. Peter, what up? Peter, yeah. I'm not Hercules. Hey, Jamie, who we doing, huh? Yeah, I'm not Hercules. So talk. Talk. I'm not hey, Hercules. can we give it up for Nori, who had one of the best album release parties I've been to? Woo! I didn't go. I was there. Was I don't came, even go out. You invited yeah. me to your party? Yes, well, he didn't I invited invite you. Me, but I, and I, then you did I not crashed. come, but you came the next day. That's the funny thing. I love you. That's what you real saying? brothers do. Daily. You came the next day. We was downstairs getting so turned up. And we had a hot dog with everything on it, no hot dog. She no did. hot dog. So you had a bun. Yeah, no, because I don't know what is in a hot dog, so I don't know why he's that. Yeah, I had a bun. Okay. I had a bun with that. <laughs> but he's an architect of the craft. <laughs> but Swiss, yes, I'm gonna be honest. I'm so honored to see your growth, brother. Thank you. To, 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 to tell you the truth, um, when I first met you, Rough Riders was one of the wildest people ever. Mm -hmm. They still are. You just don't see them. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. excuse me. Show up. Rough Riders the wildest people ever. Still take all that weed and, and smoke the whole thing in, and not but, pass it to you. <laughs> but, but, but here's here's the crazy thing. Here's the crazy thing. Was you was the person who who impacted their energy through music, meaning they were the. Rah. But if mm. I'm that guy, I don't need that. You was the guy who brought the actual music to life. I think we both, I think we all brought the music to life. No, no, but I'm saying for me, like for me, cause, because I, yeah. I, I didn't need their lyrics. I didn't need their energy. I just needed that music. And when that came, I, I, I can't believe, I can't believe how incredibly proud I am hmm. of this kid that came in my studio. It was like, I got everything, Nori. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at you Same and I'm times. like, I'm, you know, I'm testing you. I don't know if you remember this day. How you was I, testing I, me, King? No, I, I, I was like, yo, play this type of record. Boom, you had every record that I asked. Marshall the Lock. record that I, I, I picked wasn't banned from TV. It was Nature who picked it. But for me to see you years later, I'm just, and, and now mind, mind you, I'm watching all your album promo, watching yeah, Jada too. Kiss, yeah, you I'm watching that. The Young Thug, and yeah. you still have that same fucking energy. What because if you lose fuck? that energy, don't do it no more. If you don't got that energy that you started with, don't do it no more. You know, your energy is going to tell you when you need to, to move on, right? You got to listen to it. Jeez. It's going to tell you when you don't feel that thing in your stomach, you don't get butterflies before you go on that stage, it's time to switch it up. Like, we got we to gotta listen to our energy. We ignore a lot of it. We, 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 we know what, what our body is telling us to do, and sometimes we go north, south, east, or west. But you need to go where that shit is directing you to. And I'm a freedom, I'm a freedom warrior, meaning that I go wherever the energy tells me to go. Like, like we could be sitting here today, there's no, there's no day that's the same. I could be sitting here right now, I get an email or a text, I might be in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure it out. I like their week in, in Cambodia. It's fantastic. I ain't never smoked. Continue. But I'm just giving you an example of be be free to the zone. Mm -hmm. oh. Listen to your zone. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Your zone will tell you everything. Oh. Don't ignore your zone. Don't don't ignore your power. It tells you your purpose. Like, actually do some real um, homework and research on what's your purpose. Oh. If I ask everybody in this room, what's your purpose? It'd be the hottest question in the world. It shouldn't be. It should be the easiest. Mm -hmm. We should fucking, people should know what their purpose is of being born on Earth. Should we try it? Should we try it? Same mm -hmm. thing. Like, what just try it. Let's just try it. What do you want to be remembered for? Your ass, what's your purpose? To make y'all sound good. Audio. Is that a good answer, Swiss? That's, um, That's a, his immediate purpose. I like it. It's cute, but <laughs> it was cute. But he wasn't born. He, he was. He, it's a deeper purpose. It was, it's a deeper thing. It's a deeper, it's right a yeah. deeper yeah. thing. Boris. That's Boris. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. That's something that you got to think about. Boris. 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 What up, Boris? We, we Boris. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here. What's, What's your purpose, your purpose Boris? This is a tough question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Deep well, deep yeah. It's true, I'll, man. I'll tell you later. Ask this question. Who are you? Hold on. Mado, what's your purpose? Mm -hmm. 
What's that? <laughs> you know what? Everybody <laughs> fucked up, Swiss. So give us an easier question. I'm not giving no question. I'm not, I'm, not I'm, the I'm not the question guest, but give I'm not the question doctor. But I can tell you <laughs> that we need <laughs> survive. Okay, man, stop. <laughs> stop. The, uh -huh. the, the most important thing is to look in the mirror and to know who you are. Mm -hmm. That's mm. your mission every day, not mm. just today. Every day is to look in and in, in to know or, or to figure out who you are. Because you're not going to know who you are ever, mm. completely. You shouldn't because you're because a guy. No, no, not because you're a guy, because life is a continuous education course. Mm. So you're never going to fully, fully understand mm. who you are. Mm. Even if you're 90 years old, you still mm. got some room to be another person. Yeah, you can right? change who you are. You every can day. change who you yeah. are, right? So every day we got to challenge ourselves on of who we are and what's our intentions. Ooh. Right, so me, I can go to sleep at night because I have good intentions. Mm. Deal might not have been good, vibe might not have been right, this and that, but that's not on me. My intentions for everything I dealt with that day was good. Mm. Everybody else got to figure out, everybody else got to mm. figure out how they're going to deal with mm. trying to fuck me. My intention was good, and I'm not going to let you fuck me, so you got to figure out how you're going to deal with that. You understand? It got a little ugly. Okay. You got to yeah, do don't something. Yeah, don't point at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what you're fucking with. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking past you. I'm pointing way over there. You see what I'm going to do? I ain't pointing at you one goddamn time, Tim. Yo, but what, what, what would be one advice? But why am I the only one drinking this motherfucking I'm bottle, though? Uh, what, what, I'm the tiger I'm drinking that shit, too. Yeah. And it's yeah. not good. Yeah, that shit changed for real. But listen. Yo, hold on. What would be the one advice? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. We got Angela Lee, Angela Yee in the building. Yes, she's co-hosting for us. We she's co-hosting, and mm -hmm. she came at the last minute. That's real, real. No, she real, busy. Real, no, she was not the last minute. No, no, she I got, was I got, the last minute. No, no, no. I brought her in the last minute, but yeah, she's been here the whole saying. time. No, what you're saying we, is that I didn't know I was doing this until yeah, right before I walked in the door. No, because we, you know why? You know why, Swiss? You deserve it. I like her hair. You know why? Because she's a freedom fighter of the women. That's who she is. I deserve a slow clap. I know what she slow is. clap. Slow clap. Slow clap. Slow clap. You know what I think for women? I think women a lot of times we try to be really, really humble, like, and we nah. feel like we have to be. Like we don't no. like to talk about our. I don't I'll feel be like on the Breakfast Club. Envy and Charlamagne could talk about all of that. I'm like, I don't want to say too much because I don't want people. Well, to talk, you gonna drink chance, goddamn? Talk about the fuck you, you talk about, goddamn it. You do whatever the fuck you what want to say. What do you think about talk. Charlemagne on your show? What I think about him? Yeah. I think I, I seen the episode. I, I forgot who which was. one. Which one? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm living my best life. I'll do all. Yeah, do all. Weezy, I want to do all to perform on my on my Oh my god. Oh shit. And I need Angela. I need everybody here on, on my birthday list. Where are we yeah. roller skating on the yacht? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Doing? Yeah, Please, involved. somebody invite involved. me. <laughs> I don't be invited to industry we're parties. Like this is not my biggest. This is not an industry party. All right, you know. It's an in the streets party. In the streets. All right. Please. I'm understand. coming. Please, can someone invite me? Like, in, like, like you, me. I gave you my email, my fax machine, whatever it gotta be. Listen, listen, I'm going. Cause you know, I used to not go to niggas' parties before, but now I'm like, I'm like Soul House. Mm -hmm. I'm a Soul <laughs> member. <laughs> yeah, niggas laughing at me? Mumbo. Soul House is fantastic. Nori Mixing up with Soul House. I'm going to places I ain't going to. He Michael got a Carey, locker. shout to the Carries. <laughs> What, what? This, this is how you know he's rich. He this, I don't even know the fuck he just shouted out. It's, the Soho <laughs> members. That's the owners, baby. God damn it. God damn it. So Swiss. So, I know um, the manager. Yeah, Randy, hold on, we got, we got Randy, you know, the owner. <laughs> Not Randy, we, got, we got Randy Acker in the room. Randy Acker in the room. Let me tell you about, let me tell you about Randy Acker. Oh, shit, let's go. Let me tell you something. Let's go, Swiss. He never compromised his craft. He's not a Leo in the business. Leo in the business? I need to understand. Nah, I'm not gonna get into that because I need YouTube. But Randy Acker has been a stone in this oh. for the zone, 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 zone. A long time. So round of applause understand. for Randy Acker. I understand. That was hardcore. That was hardcore right there, Swiss. And the fact that you on Drink Champs. He's still in the mud. Like, he got his Jay Chan t shirt on. Stop, he's like, he gonna raise his commission on us. Stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you know, I, I always seen him around things he believed in. 
Nah, that's that's, since, that's day that, one. Yeah. Day, yeah. Day. Since day one. Till this day. If Randy Ackers around, he believe in that yeah. shit. I respect that. Yeah. He not wasting his I, fucking time. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. That I man got jewels again. And shout out to DJ EFN who's oh. always oh. Oh. Okay. No, let me let me do it. You know, <laughs> do not mix color me away with Tiger Bone. I'm Please not doing don't do that. that. I'm not, I did it. You would disrespect You would disrespect Puffy if you do that. If you pour don't, that and then don't interrupt this Columbia White job. I want to see you. Let me do what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm Puffy's sorry. my brother. Like this. no, but you 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 you, you would be the winner if you would pour that in that. I'm not trying to win anything. But Just what I'm gonna tell you is I'm 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 Team Bacardi. Mm -hmm. As Not I am, you. and he knows that. And I've been. yes, you are. But the fact that this man got a good product, we need to support this. This is independence. The only way that you're going to be a billionaire is doing things that what you're starting to do. Independence, ownership. This nigga Swiss ownership, is drink chance partner. This shit tastes, tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> ownership. Thank you. Zones are good. We're going to change your name from Effin. <laughs> no. no. Oh! God, God damn, damn it! God damn it! We gotta put this on eBay. No, We're so now. I'm gonna sign the bottle too. Let's go. White. So, one, another thing that I wanna point out to you, Swiss, <laughs> is, uh, yo, everybody, y'all. Yo, yeah, I got it. Um, you know who's talking? Yeah, no, no. This is what I wanna point out <laughs> to you. Is because I went and looked, right? And you know, Revolt, Revolt had, um, they um, made a whole new staff change. Why do you do that? Uh, 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 that's that's beyond my pay grade. Some people got laid off. Yeah, I, I, that's beyond it my pay grade. No, I think it's a restructuring. You know how what happens when they try to it save happens. money. And, it happens. And well, it's not one, personal, it's business. Right. Let's go. But one so of the moves that Sharice happened. Cherie is <laughs> Michelle, what up? But one of the moves that happened was they Thank said you. Swiss wants to do drink champs. Want to do drink champs? Early. And listen. Let I'm me just let me just be a partner in drink champ. Who are we Ooh. talking about? Hey. Let's get the cake where we need to be. What are we talking about? Cause <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, JD? <laughs> no, but for real, when um when I actually speak to the revolt staff and they say, yo, Swiss, say, yo, personally he wants to do drink champ. Well, first that shit, that shit, that shit really do this. No, that shit really touched me. Oh, can we get it on the Oh. No, no, because Swiss could have forgot about me. Swiss could have forgot him. I didn't forget about you. You could have. You could have. No, I'm just saying you could have. And so Hold on, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. He's the only artist in the world that could put me on this album, and I don't know about it. I don't do nothing about it. He's the only artist in the world that could put me on this album, and I don't know about it, and don't do nothing about it. I said, oh, that's Nori. I bet, I bet DMX could do that. Yeah. No, but, but, but Nori, I'm on his album. I'm not even listening. Do that. He could do that. I didn't even know I was on his album. <laughs> <laughs> like, the lawyers are calling me like, infringement. I said, no, that's Nori. Yeah. It's okay. Is that facts, Reezy? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Reezy, she sent me the track. And she was like, and they was like, and I was like, he's like, Zone, zone, zone. Make some noise. Yes. Yes. You gotta relate. Do what they say. Shout out to Mo for trying to do the right no, thing. You know, you know, you don't need no clearances no. on Swiss beats. No. Ever. I like a Swiss beats song because no. it come with the hook. Can I, can I ask all three of y'all something? Because yes. the other day I met Janet Jackson. I was very excited. Ooh. There's like a couple people. You met Penny from Good Time. No, the, she met Janet Jackson. I, met, I was very excited. Okay. Like, Say I her. love me some Janet Jackson. Yeah. I almost lost my mind. Mm -hmm. There's like probably only a couple of people I feel like that about, right? Mm -hmm. If I met Sade, mm -hmm. you know, Janet Jackson. I just want to ask y'all. Okay. Yeah. Because we all still fans of somebody. Uh -huh. Like, who would you lose your mind that you haven't met yet? Damn, that's well, a good I met question. the person that I would lose my Who's mind that? off is Shade. I happen to get her sister, which is Alicia Keys. Ooh. So I'm very, very comfortable. Please make some noise for that man. Yes. <laughs> that nigga. Shade was on my bucket list. But then I met the, her youngest sister Aww. that keeps fucking falling for me. Aww. <laughs> Aww. One, two, three. Aww. Aww. 
Yeah, friend, I gotta throw it to you first. Uh, well, rap wise, hip hop wise, yes. remember it was Cube, and I was mad shy in that uh, episode. You got shy? Yeah, I got. Mad. You got shy when you met Nas a little bit too. Can you got I throw shy? It out there? Because he called wow. me a legend, and I wasn't. In, that was. That was weird. All right. <laughs> You got shot when Nas oh. called you a legend? Yeah, yeah. He oh, got shot when you called him a legend. Ooh. Okay. You understand? I did, I you a legend, like, King. No, but you so are Ice legend. Cube and Nas for you. Yeah, but okay. art, artist-wise, he passed away. Robin Williams, I would have liked to. All right. right. Wow. Yeah, okay, like, okay. I feel like he was ill. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> or Mork and Mindy. Or, or um, <laughs> who did we lose recently? Anthony Bourdain would have been ill too. Okay, Ooh. we like it's a good food. one. Zone, zone, nah, because the documentary series I do, Coming Home, okay. it was kind of catered. You know, it was it was following mm. his footsteps, but hip hop wise. Mm. And what about you, Nori? Bam, bam, Bigelow. Bam, bam, Bigelow, the wrestler. Stop it, smart nigga. <laughs> That's kind of ill, that's kind of I miss Bam Bam Bigelow, nigga. That nigga, he passed away. I would have put him in the headlock, y'all. I'm like, yo, y'all, that was that's classic. Guys, that's, that's, that's my nigga, Bam like Bam Bigelow, nigga. Like that this. nigga not around. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, like, I disappoint? What, did, I, did I disappoint? Swiss, did I disappoint that I said Bam Bam Bigelow? Did you say oh. Bam Bam Bigelow? <laughs> that was hard. Keep it real. Zone, 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 zone. That was zone, zone, zone. <laughs> zone, zone, zone. You was zone, ready for that? that? No, I had no idea. She don't know Bam Bam Do you Bam, know Bam Bam Bigelow no, is? No, no, no. I that nigga come off the top row. I know he was somebody from the first door. <laughs> Bam Bam. He hit you with the y'all on the Bigelow. top y'all. Yeah, why you gonna say Bam Bam Bigelow I ain't gonna lie, that was, that was my nigga, my nigga. Him and Junk Yard Dog. You got a delicious shirt on? I got, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, it's, it's delicious my, NYC. Who's on, who's on, oh. Oh, that's, not, that's not delicious vinyl. That's though. classic material. Oh, that's not yeah. classic yeah. material. Yeah. You know okay. classic material. Yeah. Shout, yeah. Out yeah. 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 shout out to Mom. Oh, that shit ain't yellow. It ain't yellow. Yeah, shout out to Mom. that thing 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 on. No, 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 no. We gotta relax, Swiss. So Swiss. I don't like to relax. <laughs> My name is Tony Catan. You are actually, how did, how did this Zenith thing even happen? Zenith. You got Lotus? <laughs> you gonna keep telling you Zenith? No, I got McLaren. Wait, Ooh, it's a McLaren me. thing, ladies and gentlemen. You, you, you off the when Lotus? When you come to hear my album, it's gonna be a McLaren thing, huh? You wanna drive a race car, you come see me. You wanna go fast, you come see me, huh? Boys on. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Fast. You want to go fast? How huh? you want to go fast? I want to shoot. I had to go fast. Come and see me. You want to go fast? So, all right, excuse me. So, you have a McLaren deal? Yeah. Jeez, Louise. I am the McLaren deal. Ooh. It's Sorry, a difference. Sir. I apologize. I am the McLaren deal. <laughs> I was driving McLaren since McLaren wasn't McLaren. Yeah. Jesus. A lot of people know. was cool with their Lambs and their Ferraris. I was in a seat that was in the middle of three. McLaren, me. Zone, zone, zone. Tell me what they're gonna do. I'm Tell me what they're gonna be. You just Drop let the paper. Drop the paper. I might give them a McLaren raid just for my neighbors. I throw the I throw the light in the air just to save you. Oh, you put the cross on your chest for your savior. God damn! Don't disrespect me. They're gonna pull up on you. Respecting me. You tell us when to clap, so it's because we ready. <laughs> we are ready. We are so ready. Girl, I ain't gonna front. I'm so proud of you. Do you know why? Because you know why? In hip hop, we need to have that. We need to have people that is over there bullying shit, getting yeah. the money that we you know were we supposed need to in get. Hip-hop? Uh-huh. We need hip hop? We need to know that we could do it all. All. We, could, we need to know that we can do it all, and we need to know that we have it all. You understand? That was hard. We need to know that we have it all. When I was in school, they taught me. Harvard? <laughs> that one. Oh, Harvard. The H. Oh, my God. You know what they taught I was in, I was in class one day. Nigga got to break some noise with that. Nigga, <laughs> that was all, man. Yeah, you gotta start clapping hard. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who. Be, they don't come and shoot on. this whole shit. Like, yeah, no, 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 stop, Swiss. Stop, right, Swiss. Right, cool. No, we're gonna keep you. We're gonna keep you. You gotta keep you home. But listen, yeah. let me tell you, my, my professor said, my, my, my professor said. In Harvard, correct? Yeah, okay. my professor in Harvard said, you want them, you want them to feel like they win? Make them feel like they own something. I mean, I'm in class. He said, make, Damn. you want them to feel like they, they're gonna win, 
Make them feel, I might get, I might get banned from Harvard, but fuck it. You want to make them feel like they own something? They, you, want, we want, you want to make them feel, feel like, like they, they win? win? Make them feel, make like, them they feel like they own something. Hmm. Damn, that's what does deep. that mean? They're literally teaching people how to take advantage of us, Chicory. right? But listen, he said. So you give them a production deal, but it's not really a label oh, deal. Oh, yeah. gosh, you get into it. But let me show you the, the dynamics. Did I knock it down? Oh, no. Imprint deals. <laughs> Imprint deals. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I felt so good. I felt. I felt like I was in and here. No, you understand? I gotta relax. I'm gonna relax. You have two dollars in your budget. You know who your superstar is, and your superstar know who he is. He comes to the meeting. You got two dollars in your budget. This is your superstar. Mm -hmm. He comes. He know that he's a superstar too. He's overqualified. He, oh man, you know, uh, this is great. I love what you're doing, but we, we, the, the position is gone. The superstar's through. It's gone, but I'm the best guy, I'm the guy for it. I, don't, I can't, you know, the, the, the job is just finished. Just took this power away from him. It's done. The superstar no longer think that he's a superstar. He's got a fax machine? Fuck that. Good, keep going. The superstar no longer think that he's a superstar because you told him that the, the position was done. Mm. But you know you got $2 in your budget. Mm. So the superstar say, man, I'm qualified, I'm this, I'm that. And yeah, I know, I know, I understand. You the guy. Mm. And I know that you're the guy, but it, it's, they, they, they hired this guy. And so you took the power away from the superstar come back and say, listen, whatever you need me to do, I'm willing to do. Mm. Say, so, uh, call me tomorrow. Mm. You call the guy tomorrow. I'm telling you what they taught me. You call the guy tomorrow. Yo, you know, they gave me a good report on you. They say you really, really should have got this job and said this other guy. I don't have $2 to pay you like you were saying. I have a dollar. You give this guy a dollar. Say, yo, you know, you got to work more than the guy that's getting two dollars. But I'm gonna give you a dollar because I'm not even supposed to have you here because we got who we wanted. Fucking with your mental, right? You give this guy a dollar. He's working so hard, hard. He's grinding his life off because he don't feel that he's in that position that he was supposed to be in. So he's going hard. He's he's not even sleeping. And you walk up to him in the grass while he's cutting it. Mm. You say, man, you did all this? You cut all this grass? Mm. Yeah, that's me. That's my work. I'm, I'm me. Wow. I knew that you was one of my special guys. You know what? Don't tell nobody. I'm going to give you another dollar. But you had $2 in your bank. To you, start with. You had $2 to start with. You made him slave now because he only thought it was a dollar involved. Mm. He wasn't qualified. Mm. But you knew that he was your target this whole time. You played him. You gave him a dollar to start with. You gave him another dollar to enhance. Mm. You gave him another dollar to enhance mm. his influence. So now you got this guy working for you mm. on a nonstop condition because he think you really care about him. Right. But you never cared mm. about him. You've been had two dollars from him, but you gave him a dollar first, made him grind it out, and then made him earn the other dollar. And now he think you he really think care about him. He thinks he's indebted to you. Mm. Facts. Mm. Fuck that shit. Know your worth. Know what you hold. Know you withstand. Don't play those games. Make some noise. Yeah, I got that. Now listen. Swiss, yeah, they, they Swiss. said that shit to me. And, they said that shit to me. And, Swiss makes. I'm like the label deal. Damn. Oh, yeah. this. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going crazy. So Swiss makes one last beat. Like, it's just, this can be multiple, but I'm going to start with these two. I like this question. One last beat. <laughs> this is the, for the rest of your life. And Nas is in the A room. And Jay is in the B. You ain't even got to mention those people's names. And I love them all. No, I, I, that, I, got, I, I got another multiple choice. Let's go. But, but this is the first two. I know who I'm going to do. Nas and, and Jay. And you know who I'm going to do. I actually don't. You do. I need to hear it. You do. You do. A room. 
<laughs> we don't. I don't give a fuck if it's an A to Z room. The person that I started with is going to be the person that I ended with. Is DMX the fucking great? No, no, no. That's the third question. He's in the room. He's not even in the room. I'm gonna put him in the room. <laughs> he added him to the room. Because he's in my heart. I'm gonna put him in the room because right, he's cool. in my heart. Cool. We, we go. We go put him in the room later. He's in both but, rooms. Okay. But, okay. Give me the trivia. Just, it's, it's is it, Jay is it trivia? Okay. Go ahead. And Nas, which room do you walk in? I seen him at the Jay Z concert. Damn, so you see me at the Jay Z concert. That don't mean that. But He's I'm also be, I'm, I'm gonna be at the Esco mother. Who phone is that? What's up? Yeah, for real. Y'all niggas is very unprofessional. <laughs> That's been yeah. made up. Been made up. <laughs> Yo, that's not Reggae yeah. Dome, nigga. Who's this is not a Reggae Dome? Why you got to play the one Latino? The one Latino. Come on, man. All right, so look. Which All right, one, this is the last one? beat you can make. Watch this one. A's, um, did I say AZ? What the fuck? Why I put him in? Track. Yeah. All right. so, it's a remix. <laughs> so, so Nas is to the left, Jay is to the right. You yeah. love them both. Come on. Yeah. I know you love them both. I, I do. But this is the last track. Yeah. Which room is Swiss going in? The room that I'm going in is the room they're going to create. Versus, versus, versus. Nas versus Hov, Hov versus Nas. Both of them on the same song. I can't, I can't split up. Uh, that. That's Swiss, cheating. you got to pick one. He went Swiss. to that middle room. Swiss, come on, come on, come pick on, one. That's cheating. Just for the moment. Just for this, this 10 seconds. No, next 10 seconds no in your life. No blended song. Next 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Which song would you pick? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm from Queens. I'm going to Nas. Which song would you pick? All right. Which one would I pick? Yeah. I like you and Jay-Z. No. Mm. Okay, what song would you pick? I don't want to be a part of what this. What song would you pick? You're a part of You have this <laughs> table. You're a part of this, nigga. I'm a DJ. Song? I want both of them on the track. No, no, no. Me too. What song yeah, 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 DJ niggas got to stop with this fucking <laughs> careful shit. Yeah, it's not DJ. careful shit. Yeah. I want both of them on the track. Okay, I'm going to tell All you right. what I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Nas. Because he's a poet. And, and Ho was a poet. Hot five. Don't leave him hanging, man. Come you know on. Come on. Like, you know what? Mass hey. Appeal Records, we here. No, 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 but for real, I know that if Nas had a, if Nas had an album coming out, and Hope had an album coming out, mm -hmm. and I mean, I, don't let me get into it. I'm good. No, he, wait, no he got one, a whole project with Nas coming out. No one listens no, to us. No, so no, I was about to get into some real shit. No one's listening. Go ahead. Everybody's listening. This is our listening shit right here in the room. No, you know, Nas specializing in something, and my brother Hove, he specializes in that bullshit, too. He's a zone, zone, zone. Don't get it twisted. That man is special. You understand? Just because I said Nas, I don't think that I don't think that Hove is special. Right. I know a strong point. I never I never made a a non hit without him. When I was fucking with him. On to the next one. Oh, that was oh. that, that was where I was literally at that, at that particular time. Mm. Hove is a goat. Mm. With four legs. Jigga, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. You my brother. I've been Trying always meant to tell you this. I feel like Jigga was my record. Oh. Nori. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the record that was. I'm gonna tell you the record that was. Jada. Jada. I was wrong. I knew it was for somebody else. I knew it was for somebody else. What happened? He didn't like it. Wow. Okay, I am. Keep it moving. Wait, but that's it? That's the only two studio sessions? No, I ain't gonna lie. I always wanted to talk to him about that. I felt like that was mine. Um, and then there's one more. The track masters. Um, no, no. They, they actually, I actually have the record where they saying, Nori, Nori, that nigga Nori. And it's Jigga, Jigga, that nigga Jigga. <laughs> I ain't do that record though. That was Track Masters. I said I that. did the real Jigga. No, but the I'll, Track I'll, Masters I'll, did. What the fuck were we talking about? Well, Nori, let me ask you a question. I want to battle all these niggas. I feel like Andrew Lee. <laughs> get me started off. Let me ask you a question, that's, Nori. Nori, let's pop off. <laughs> Who? What? I'm sorry. Let's ask Nori a question. You I gotta, invited you, Angelina. You got the best verse of your life, okay? Ooh. You could give it to Nicki Minaj. Oh. Or you could give it to Cardi. Nicki. Oh. I'm going with Nicki. Oh. He went quick. He's going quick Queens. every time. I'm going with Nicki. That's what he's Queens. doing. That's not the question. But yeah, that's okay, the question. Give me the question. No, I know he liked both of them. I love, I love Cardi. Because he loved Cardi. I love he loves Cardi. Nicki. I super love. But you know what? I don't even, I don't even know Nicki. Mm. Like, I don't even met her like once but or twice. But how you don't know Nicki? Because from I'm Queens. from the other part of Queens. We're part of Queens. West Side Queens, nigga. She from the East Side. 
Shoot Southside. Shoot Southside. Shoot Southside. That's 50. Ja. Okay. You know, that's that's them. Me, Nas, Akinelli. We're all from the like the west side of Queens. What's what's the real side though? No, everyone's the real side in my opinion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's the real side of New York. I'm just fucking. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day. At the end I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah, listen. You gotta oh, listen to my time. Hit me with another question. Hit me with another question. This might be the first time I edit. Come on, come on. Hit me with another question. No, 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 no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not editing. We're not editing. I never edit. I never edit. No, you. You got another question or never did? Oh, you want some more? You want some more? I definitely don't want no more. That was enough. Okay, you got another. Hit me with that smoke, Angela. Cormega. Ooh. And you got A Z. Who are you gonna give it to? Pause. I don't want to give it to neither no, one. The first. The first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, Core Mega or AC. What are we doing? We're gonna go to quiz again. One chip. What are we going talking about? Yeah, it's the best verse. Your best verse. It's going to a billion My dollars. My best verse. A billion dollars. What are we doing? Going to Core Mega. He's going Queens. Oh, you give it. He's making it Queens. Everybody from Queens. Okay. Queens. What are we talking about? I thought you were gonna ask Swiss, Biggie or Pac. Oh, it's Biggie. Uh, yeah. Is that what you just asked? Yeah. I mean, you can ask that. I was waiting for no. you to ask. No, 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 it's your turn. No, no, no. Yeah. All right, all right, I got, I got one. You, you, you said Biggie. Y'all too regional with this shit. Big Queens, right, right. New York. Uh -huh. No regional, no regional, no more. Swiss's last beat. <laughs> my last beat. God damn. Wait, I'm gonna be honest. Beat. I'm gonna be honest. Nah, my last that. I'm not even doing that. I'm not even doing that. I'm keeping it real. How long you been working with? How long Mo been working about with you? About twelve years, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I mean, about. Twelve years. Hold on, Weezy. Thirteen and a half. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm sorry, Mo, but you my nigga. Like I'm sorry. Like like I know that's like like bad to say that about a girl. That's Weezy. That's like, she's my nigga. You know what? Like, that's oh, my. You know what? You know what? You know what? As as a man. That's my if you can if you can empower a female. Yo, know, it be times I don't even I don't even bother calling you. Why not? I just say, oh no, I go yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, yes, no, Swiss is over there. I, you see, I was on time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I oh, missed a I big know. meeting beforehand because oh, I wasn't shit, on no. time. Because I wasn't on time, not perfect. Yo, I swear to God, Angela, you don't Drink push chaps? it. If you push it, Angela Lee, because I was all the time because of Angela Lee. Don't blame me. Because you know why? You know why? You know what? This is the only time a female came on Drink Champs. This is the only time a female. She's the first. She's the first. She's the first female on Drink Champs. She's the first. Not previously. No, no, no. No, no. Round of applause, Terry. Let me be honest with you. They're like, yo. They don't want uh, no other female on Drink Chance but Angela Yee. I no, you, you got God. Amber Rose you know on. You no, got Trina. Come on. Co-host. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, you're great. They, they love that. Why would they want another female on? No, no, that's it. This is it. It's Moni our sister. Love was dope. Yeah, Moni Love. Yeah, I was, but, I'm not going to lie. That was exciting for me to Angela. meet Moni Love. Oh, she I, and she when I was young. And, and, she in the, and she in the middle. Yes, oh, I was so hyped. We She's need so Moni nice. back, man. And she follows me on Instagram yeah, now. So that was exciting. Thank you, Nori. Wait, no, no wait, problem. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold, on, hold on, Nori. Yes. But you one of one. None before and none to come. <laughs> and we love everybody. Moni is in the middle. And you just have to be in a you happen to be in a different space. I'm waiting to right. clap. Zone, zone, zone. You're on the other side. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> that was so awesome. Oh, You're so Swiss. You got the you got the watch company. Why? You got, you, We're you going got, back with Call of the Zenith. Don't say Zenith. Don't call it a Zenith. No, it is a Zenith. Zenith. That's what I'm saying. Zenith. Don't call it a Zenith. What's, what's the name I'm from? Dyslexic. Where's that company from? I got on your motherfucking it's, it's Reeboks. It's a Switzerland company. Okay. You I got on your Swiss Reeboks. Are they comfortable? <laughs> I love them, brother. I love them. Um, you also, thought, thought I wasn't going to bring them to you, huh? No, no, I knew you was going to bring them. Because I seen what you did in Harlem. I thought that was so honorable. You know what? The best, what I want to tell everybody is Yes, please. When they see me giving away the shoes in Harlem, that was honorable. It's gonna be the Swiss hunt. Like, you know, man hunt? I'm gonna do the Swiss hunt. What they got? They got the Pikachu shit. What's the shit? Pokemon? The Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Yo, you gotta, yeah. do the, you gotta do the Swissy Mom. I got it. Swissy Mom. Swissy Mom. Swissy Mom. Swissy Mom. Swissy Mom. That's why they can make it. Yo, JD, JD, listen. The Swissy Mom. The Hunt, right? That's hard. Listen. The shit. I'm gonna post the link. Hold on. I'm gonna post the link. I'm gonna post the link. When I'm about to give out. I'm giving out cars, watches, oh, jewelry. 
I'm going to give be out. on the Swiss yeah. and punk then. I'm trying to you give you the Oprah. I need a load of Hold on. Because. <laughs> or McLaren. Whatever you're giving away <laughs> all of those. Stop, Swiss. Watch I'm, this. I'm going to be on the hunt. The sneakers was cute. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go put them on the table. Put them Ooh. Okay, we see that. Your legs are motion too, I see it. Keep talking, Swiss. This is shining. shining. I'm not touching you right now. I don't want to give you a man you're good, you're good. that mm-hmm. I'm going to do Swizzy Mom. in New York, <laughs> Cali, LA, I mean, you know, Texas, Atlanta. What is it? Swizzy Mom. Swizzy Mom. I'm going to give away McLaren's. What? Damn, dog. Damn, Swiss. I'm giving away serious zones. Apple's in this. Like, I'm giving away, like, iPhone 10. I'm giving God, away so much because, Can we like, start here? Morris needs an iPhone. <laughs> I just gave him all the fucking sneakers. <laughs> Let's right. make some noise for me. We only get one. <laughs> look, no, but listen. Uh, yeah, but look, but look, but look. Go ahead. The best thing you could do in life is give. Absolutely. Wow. We can receive a lot of things, wow. right? But going in Harlem and, and do what I did and I displayed on my Instagram. Beautiful. I watched those people pick those shoes up with pride. And it's not a Reebok thing. Reebok has nothing but to do But we also big enough Reebok as well. Fuck everybody. Oh shit, okay Swiss, we <laughs> wasn't ready. Okay, good. <laughs> good. It's a cultural <laughs> thing. It's a cultural <laughs> thing. Okay. They're by product. It's a cultural thing. You'd be surprised how many people really care about the culture. Mm. You'd be surprised. Real shit. You understand? Real shit, I understand. Right? But it was a people thing. And to see those people take them shoes and hold it like this of something that was created, let me give it back to the people, man. And and me putting it out there um, myself. Because we could see celebrities' gifts. They'll wear it or might not wear it, but like, fuck the celebrity. What is a celebrity anyway? Exactly. A person that's overrated for their currency of time, mm. may, maybe. Like but Morris. the people, <laughs> but the people, the people are the real currency of culture, mm. right? So I'd rather give my shoes out to the people that I never thought they would, ever, they would ever be able to afford or get my shoe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when I did, what I did with, when, in Harlem, which I'm going to do all around, mm-hmm. when they see what I'm about to give out, we're going to all, I'm going to be in a challenge my fucking self. But shit that I'm giving out. I'm like. But these are called the DMXs? Yeah, but not not because of the rap rapper. It's, it's okay. t- 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 uh, the technology is DMX before DMX. Damn. That's all. You know I'm saying? So Makes if you sense. do if you do the homework. That's like on, a coincidence. Yeah, the fucking. DMX. So the dog is not gonna be mad at you. Because I don't know um, how it feels like. DMX. Look, man, I'm the only person. I'm the only person. Hold on. And we can get to it. Oh, I'm, I'm the asking. only person at this current time that's supporting his family and why he can't. No, we didn't have to go there, but thank you. No, we yeah. got to go there because okay. um, what I do is, is infectious. And that's my dog, that's my king, that's my brother. Right. Tell him to tell who, who Who's there for him now? Beautiful. Don't talk to me about when he got a hit record out. Mm-hmm. Who's there for him now? Right. Who's Beautiful. feeding his family now? Beautiful. Skinny motherfucker right. from the Bronx. All right. You understand? But the DMX is a technology. So every shoe has technology. And the DMX technology before DMX even came out as a rapper. Mm. Right? And, and we just happened to use it. Mm. You know? But DMX don't wear, even if it was, he, don't, only, he, don't, he only wear Tim's. Yeah, he only wear Tim's. I couldn't even get DMX a, a Reebok there because he only wear Tim's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. Uh. When y'all hear what the dog is going to come with, mm-hmm. it's going to change people's life. He got a song called Cancer Survivors. Mm. Wow. It's going, it's, 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 it's going it, man. But another thing I just seen, I seen the locks and you guys together. Mm-hmm. And, As you should. And um, that's for your album, I'm, I'm no, assuming. that's for their album. The locks oh. album. My album is done. Oh. I don't need nothing else they for They got album. me. They gotcha. <laughs> they fooled me. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I, I thought it was yours. I was like, oh shit, so it's got a locks right on this album. No, man. Mm. You know, I, I, I love to see that. We got to give more than we take. Mm-hmm. You understand? The locks. Um, we are the streets. Listen to We Are the Streets. Mm. Tell me what album is better than that. And you, everybody might have a vibe, but literally, tell me what album is better than that. Mm. 
I don't give a fuck about who's your best group. That song that you love from is one song. I'm talking about an entire composition of work. And we're gonna continue that. Long live the locks. Style, chic, JD Kiss. Zone, zone, zone. Man, I'm not gonna lie. We can't end it any better than that. We can't end it. Let me just tell you something. That's all I'm gonna say, because you can't end it better than that. But all I'm gonna say is, I really love y'all love for yeah. each other. Yeah, I fuck with everybody. And I, I love that. Yeah, and, and that's a beautiful thing. I was in the I, dungeon with Yonkers, by the way. We sit in the zone, man. Yo, listen. <laughs> I don't know how I met D from Rough Riders. You know how you met I know how you met No, no, no. What happened? What happened? Relax, Wes. What just happened? <laughs> how'd you meet D? Relax. This is two champs. But you know what the people want to know. And I said, yo, I need to have a the beat. people want to know, said, man. I'm sending my nephew down. And I didn't really understand. And the, even, even, even Jay the Kiss, some nigga said, who did the beat? I said, D's nephew. And the nigga said, oh, OK, we good. Mm -hmm. They didn't listen to the beat. It started right here. <laughs> Before they even listened to the beat. Who's on the song from The Locks? No, this is this is bad from TV. Well, who's on the song from it? The Locks. This Jada is and, and, uh, yeah, they uh, ran it out. Yep, ran it out. So that's how long that's how long ago I did that one. God damn it. Give me some love, that's my right. brother. I forgot who's uh, on the Yo, listen, let me just tell you something, <laughs> Swiss. I seen your growth. I seen you from the beginning. My shit. I love. seen you. I'm did it out. Not the ending, because we know we're near the ending. I didn't even start but, yet. But uh, yeah, so I see it, I and I'm so you. proud of I didn't you. I didn't even start yet. No, but I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you. The uh, fact that, I love hold you. On, hold on, but listen. Yeah. The fact that I'm on your show in 2008, Again. no. Again. In 2018, <laughs> that's a great thing. God damn it. In 2018, that's a great and thing. And you know why? Because we connected in two, we still connected in two, 1990. No, no, no. Yo, tell, tell you 97. 97. Yeah. Because it came out in 98. Because remember, you, we had to record. DJ, tell your DJ to throw in a beat right now. Stop. Oh, my God. You about to do a song? Tell your DJ Stop. to throw in a beat right now. What are we doing? He said, no. He said, no, please don't. I'll zone out right now. <laughs> He's like, right I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm no, no, ready. I'm not going to lie. Throw in the fucking beat right now. Come on, let's do it. I dare you. Zone, zone, zone. Come on, zone. No. But we I got don't know speakers. what to do. We got speakers right here. <laughs> I don't know. What to do. <laughs> Bluetooth that motherfucker. Let's go. That's what made me but say But listen, that. let me just let me just, right. let me just tell you something. Y'all <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, rappers can, lucky can, 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 Let me bring you up. Let me bring you up for a second. This guy has been the same guy from when I met him back then to when I meet him now. To when you see me now. To when I see him now. Him. Sorry. Both I'm of y'all so have been like that, though, because for me, like, coming up, you guys have both always been... Very great to me. Just always. Oh. No, for real. Like, oh. Like, oh. listen. Oh. You, know what, Angela? you know what, Angela? You've been great to yourself. Oh. And that's the greatest thing. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You've been great to yourself. Nori used to, his label used to be on the block I used to work on, on 25th God Street. God damn it, Angela. Back in the day when he was Just on stop. penalty. Damn. God damn it. Right? I used to car. work in a marketing car, company. Angela. That's right, everybody called you to Hold be on, let's talk about I would walk that. on the block and talk I would see talk about that. Nori mm -hmm. and all his people outside, like it was the block of Queens. Zone, zone. Outside, zone, hanging zone. out. I, I remember Capone. I told that to Sig, right, Sig? Yeah. I was like, yo, this is. I was this. young as hell. I was like, 22. you know what it was? I'm gonna be honest. What it was? I, I just told it to my man. Say, was, I I was a real like a shooter guy. So, I wanted to leave my hood. So when they gave me the actual <laughs> shit to like leave, I would actually go there every day. Every day they was there. Like every day I would be in. I was like, right do here. they work here? <laughs> I was like. I was just like, because I know if I go home, I might, this, this guy, Tyron, might come back. But that's why right. labels are so different you know now. No, but I Nuri, hate this Nuri. nigga Tuesday. This nigga might come back Thursday. That's how labels are different. I used to work for Wu-Tang. They all used to be in the office every single day. I remember. Every day. It's not like that now. Right. God damn it. It's not like God that. God damn it. Let's make some more. Yeah,